Hey there, welcome to uh, what is going to be um, a full playthrough of the Spellforce 3 Reforced um, campaign. I just wanted to throw in this little clip here because uh, my very first video I ever recorded, the audio, it's just not great. Yeah, I learned that um, having this, the sound come out of the speakers my monitor, you know, that, that gets reverberated or something like that in the microphone. So the audio isn't great in the first video. Um, but it does get better after that. Um, in addition to saying that, in case you were to have, you know, finished that first video, um, I do believe that I am improving over time. Um, you'll kind of hear a lot of my thoughts, um, in these videos, um, as they start to get uploaded and whatnot. Um, I'm new at this, and I'm just gonna start trying stuff out, so I expect things to change pretty often. I've been streaming it right now on Twitch, um, but I do plan to start uploading um, the videos as well more consistently and, you know, hopefully people will give me comments and, you know, advice and criticisms and, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm trying something new. I quit my job and uh, I've had a lot of time to think about, like, what it is that I really want to do in this world and things of that nature, and this is something I've thought about for many years, um, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So, um, you know, if you don't, you know, give this series a shot, um, you know, maybe you'll find some of the other content that I hope to, to put out interesting. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoy it for what it is. Um, maybe, you know, if you don't enjoy the content itself, you might enjoy just seeing me grow. It's not every day that you get to see someone do that, I guess. I've been playing the game exclusively um, while streaming, so all of my first impressions, everything, it's uh, it's getting captured live. I, I don't know that I'll keep that sort of format in the future, um, but you know, this is going to be one of those live and learn type of things. So anyways, yeah, just want to add that into the, to the beginning of this clip, and um, there, there you go. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Alrighty, hello there. I'm uh, trying to become a new streamer and uh, content creator as a whole. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, um, but I'm going to give it a shot. I have really no experience doing it, but you know, let's just uh, give it the good old try. So um, right here I have Spellforce 3 Reforced. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have heard of this game. I imagine if you found the, the video, if I upload it to YouTube, no guarantee there, I suppose, then, uh, perhaps you may already know something about it. Anyways, it's an RTS game, um, I believe similar to, like, Warcraft 3 or Starcraft 2, those kind of games. Um, I think there's story elements to it, and, like, customizations for your hero, and that sort of stuff. I'm not really sure. I've never played it, I've seen like a little bit of a PvP once and um, you know, decided to get it one day when it was on sale on Steam a few months ago. So yeah, gonna give it a shot. First campaign, Spellforce 3, Burning Blood. Um, I noticed in the settings that you can set the difficulty. Um, I'm gonna play it on hard. You have uh, the Circle Mage, which is uh, much more difficult I guess, but... I'm gonna just gonna stick with hard. We'll see how it goes. All right, burning blood. Oh, it asks you again. What do you know? Hard mode. Let's you go. You are General Sentenza Noria, commander of the Wolf Guard. According to rumor, a group of rebels planning to overthrow the crown has taken refuge in a deserted castle in the wilds of Iskander. Their leader, a mage named Isamo Tahar, is as charismatic as he is radical. It is your job. To end his scheming, one way or another. Oh, wait a sec. I am not streaming World of Warcraft. How do I change you, that? They're inside the fortress. Good. What about the outpost? They mm. set it up and are waiting for you to take over and give instructions. The new guy, Private, um. Carpal. Yes, that one. He's in charge right now. Good. I've told you before and I'll tell oh. you again. 
This mission is important. The man inside that fortress is oh, to hearts. He's more than just an ordinary lawbreaker. He's a traitor, he's a mage, and he's a murderer. Done. We are the best the royal army has to offer, and the queen put her faith in us. Okay, I'm actually so going to stop the failure. streaming and start it now up move again. To the outpost. <sighs> hmm. All right, just one sec. I'm. My stream it was set to World of Warcraft. I was playing that like once months ago. Actually, like eight months or something. Um, the stream isn't starting. I kind of want to stream while I create the YouTube videos. Um, okay. You know what? I... Is it because I'm recording, perhaps? Let's update. Let's try it one more time. Okay. I think we're live again. Cool. So that means if I ever have issues with streaming while recording, it looks like it doesn't have too much of an impact. All right, controlling heroes. Um, select single heroes, hold and drag. Gain control over multiple heroes. Double click on any hero to select all your heroes at once. You can move your heroes by that. By holding control and pressing that, you command and let them attack every enemy on their way. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right, make up I'll your mind for heck's sake. I'll hold the line. We'll make our stand here. Uh, Got it, Commander. I'll stay. What's their default stance? How do I, like, pan around? I have to use the arrow keys? I much prefer WASD. Hmm. Yes? Alright. Hmm, I guess we can close that, move the camera, or by moving the mouse to your window borders. Oh, cool, you can hold the middle mouse button and move around, too. That fills off, though, much too fast. Let's see, you can zoom in and out, rotate. Uh, uh okay. Hm. Cool. Alright, and the game looks pretty good. As far as graphics go, I mean, look at that water. Looks pretty rad. Got some rocks and trees. This is zoomed out all the way. Um, probably gonna take some getting used to on the controls. I haven't actually used the computer in like, uh, months. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I quit my job and I had a desk job basically where I just sat at a desk all day every day. Not fun. And, um, yes. I just kind of felt I needed a break from sitting at a desk. Alright, so it wants me to reach the outpost. Right. Kind of like to explore a little Major bit. Let me take a look. So I guess these are all heroes. We got Stenza, Noria, huh? Gwen, and Anselm. Got some stances here. You can follow, attack. Yes. Okay, you got more health. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got some abilities it seems. Okay, and it looks like they're based on the different folk. Okay. Well, let's just continue on. You found some loot. Take all our loot individual objects. Huh, a hatchet. Who's it even good for? Epic, one-handed, apply bleeding. I mean, their current weapons seem pretty amazing. That could come in handy. Okay, press I to open inventory. You can switch between your item types by selecting to the respective dragon. Okay. That's our inventory. And then I just change it by selecting on each of the characters. Oh, whoops. Um, that's... Let's see. So, I mean, you got an inferior mace. Oh, okay. So that's actually imp an improvement, right? Not really. It's just different. Man, we have a lot of effects. This seems like a complicated game. Like, there's a hell of a lot to this. Like, look at all this. Like, you got, after landing a critical strike, cast on target, apply weakened to enemy creature. Okay. So, 
Normally, I like to look at this stuff, but I want to be somewhat entertaining, right? So, um, Careful. I'm just going to play a little bit and see how much any of that matters. Alright, we got them attacking. How about it, crew? Why aren't you doing anything? I might put all of you onto aggressive. Jeez, man, you're just letting this girl almost die. Holy shit. What is it? Sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, the glossary is an in-game encyclopedia where you can read up on game mechanics, units, and factions, as well as take a second look at tutorial screens after you've closed them. Hmm. Man, man, I wish I recall that tutorial on how to like loot everything. Let's go. Oh well, it looks like we got some health regen going on, so that's nice. We got some resistances, so it seems there's strike damage, pierce, magical, and siege. Humanoid. Dream living. Hmm. Alright, team. Mm -hmm. Got a house here. Maybe a bullet. Okay, we got some folks. Dude, where were these soldiers at? Man? At the outpost. Yes, sir. Good. Hmm. Then let's find private carpool. I'd have to say right off the bat, like, compared to Warcraft... This reminds me of Warcraft 3. Um, definitely more complicated than that game was in the beginning. Um, at oh, least General initially. Oh, yeah. it, it's an honor. Private Carpo. Report. How much resistance do we face? Impossible to say, sir. We've captured two of the rebels in the woods, but they wouldn't talk. All we know is that there have been some troubles within the, um, resistance. That might be to our advantage. Oh, wow. You actually have options on what you want to say? What's the question mark versus the arrow? Where are those two rebels you captured? Can I talk to them? I am afraid that won't be possible, sir. They're dead. How? Poison. They had it in their robes and swallowed it once we left them in their cell. Hmm. Cowards? That was careless. I mean, the cowards, you know, would definitely be a comment towards the soldiers or, you know, prisoners, I guess, just killing themselves. At the same time, it was careless to let them kill themselves. I don't know what kind of commander, you know, we're... Or I am trying to be, um... Hmm. I mean, I think it's kind of lame to kill yourself. Like, you're kind of preventing any opportunity of you, like, doing more for whatever your goal is. So I, I would cowards. say cowards. You mentioned troubles within the resistance. What do you mean by that? Hmm, cool. Yeah, so it looks like the question mark is if you want more information. Troubles? Yes. The prisoners wouldn't tell us, so we waited for your arrival, as you ordered. As you might know already, Tahar and his mages barricaded themselves in the old fortress. We'll need to find a way inside. And that's what we'll do. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Good work. Good work, Private. I'm glad they assigned you to my unit. Oh, I'm... Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, man, a compliment can go a Let long way. Let the know I'm in command now. We need to get this camp and our men into shape before we can make a move. Understood. Get over here, man. Yes, you! For those of you who don't know who this is, General Sentenza Noria, spy master of the Queen and commander of the Wolf Guard. He's the one in charge of this operation, and from now on, you'll follow his orders. Understood? Yes, sir! General? Yes. First we need to... Rebels! We're under attack! Blazes! Keep it together! We'll show them what it means to take on the crown. <laughs> Spells and perks. Your quick access bar grants you access to all your characters. Oh, jeez, we're already getting attacked. Um, that's an interesting time to give me a tutorial message. I'm guessing that means that we just win this fight. Hopefully no one important dies. That's a blue and blue, which feels like our guys, so actually I think someone did die. No oh, run. Oh that's that was all of them, I think. You alright, Gwen? I know how to defend myself, baby brother. But thanks for asking. Quiet. If Tahar knows our location, it won't be long until he'll launch another attack. We should stock up on resources first, and then set up a barrack to arm our men. Let's begin. Carpal, get the hunting cabin manned. 
and see if we have any lumberjacks among our workers. We need wood. Okay. I wonder if there's like a pause in this game. Open pause menu. Oh, there is, but you just can't do anything. Okay, well, I mean, hey, at least they have a pause. Um, so yeah, this game seems to have a lot of stuff getting thrown at you at once. Like, I'm a little bummed that I lost a soldier, but, you know, I guess really it doesn't matter. If it mattered, they wouldn't, you know, have given you a tutorial the moment, you know, battle ensues. Especially with all this text, like, that's a lot of stuff to read. Um, I'm a pretty quick reader, but, uh, not that fast. Spells and perks, your quick access bar grants you, that must be the thing up here, yeah, grants you access to all your character's abilities, drag and drop them from your spell book to your quick access bar to add spells, drag and drop them out of the quick access bar to remove them again, swap between two access bars by selecting the switch active, switch active, uh, quick access bar button left of it or temporarily by holding down shift, oh that's useful. Perks are passive modifiers and always affect your hero. Huh. Um, right. It's paused, so I can't close out of that. Base management. Your capital is the heart of your base. If your enemy succeeds in destroying it, you lose the game. Your capital also loses you. Ah. Allows you to research new technologies and to see the total amount of resources left in the sector, as well as workers currently available for assignment. Press comma to toggle economy view, which shows the sector's individual resources and the worker assignment of each building. Interesting. You can change the number of workers assigned to a building by selecting the worker icon above it. Most buildings need at least one worker. New buildings are automatically assigned to maximum possible worker capacity. Not all buildings need to be filled to maximum capacity at all times. Efficient worker management is the key to victory. Keep in mind that workers can be killed. Fallen workers respond one by one at regular intervals. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. So you actually have to assign workers to your buildings. You don't just create the building and then you can do stuff. That's a bit more to it, but no problem. All right, we got a lot of different options here. Let's have at it. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna make mistakes, honestly, as things go on. Um, I really haven't been playing PC games in a long time. So I'm just kinda gonna get back into it. Um, so my expectations are pretty low. Looks like these question marks might be related to this prologue quest, Know Your Surroundings. Then we have our main quest, which is uh, to set up resource production. So we got our town center, we create a scout, infantryman, looks like worker armor increases worker HP, looks like our resources are wood, logs remaining in sector, okay, stone, food, iron bars. Current iron ore remaining in sector. Area potion and an area cask. Okay, it looks like these are just two resources I have to find and perhaps build a structure for how many units you can raise your population limit by building accommodations. How do I see all my active units? This is notification history. Toggle hero highlighting. It's actually kind of useful. At least in the beginning. Okay, oh, that's what the economy view is. Gotcha. Okay, I like having that on. Yeah, I mean, how about... Yeah, I guess until I become acclimated to, like... You know, all the different stuff in the game, I'm not really gonna be, uh... Switch active control scheme. Hmm. That might be something related to the settings. Let's actually see real quick. Capture cursor in windowed mode. Hmm. Left-handed mode, that's unusual. Cool though, cool. You don't see that too often. Hmm. Okay. Q 
key mapping. Are my ones and twos quick select slot? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. So I will uh, wait and see on that. <laughs> well, let's just try and have at it. You know, I'm a first time player. Did you think myself that way? I wish there was a show units. I feel like. Oh, okay. That's on the mini map. That's actually kind of useful. Show sectors. Interesting. Buildings. Quest markers. Select right. all military units. It's a handy button. Show overview map. Resources remaining. That's such an interesting... So you have sectors in this game. Well, what's the show resources? Is that like... The available resources in the area? That... I can see why they have that defaulted off. It doesn't even seem useful. Alright, so we got Sentenza Noria, who's our main commander, I believe. He's got a territory bonus. Um, party management abilities. Oh my goodness. You can level these guys up. They have their own tree. Wow, there is a lot do this. Here's the spell book they were telling us about. See, what's my quick slot? Because I tend to prefer to use the one through six keys, like, just because I've got one of those, like, MMO mouses, um, and I find it quite useful. Brutality, that's a perk. Okay. Oh, and that's the switch active. Experience to next level. What does my one do? My quick slot. Oh, is that is that like for um your units if you like group them together perhaps? Hmm. Huh. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. See, so, yeah, I mean perhaps if I upload it to YouTube, I will cut out a lot of this learning phase and then I guess if someone was to watch the stream well then you know you get to learn it with me right ask questions along give advice that sort of stuff hmm. focus regeneration that must be the resource for your abilities looks like he might have his own inventory no inventory is shared between everyone Okay, and that's everything. You can organize it. That's kind of useful. You got some attribute points. Let's see. Strength determines your innate physical resistances and health regeneration, as well as the effectiveness of strength-based weapons. Hand-to-hand -hand attacks and abilities. Dexterity determines your critical hit chance. Block chance and the effectiveness of dexterity-based weapons and abilities also reduces the cooldown of your abilities. Okay. Huh. Deter intelligence determines your focus regeneration and the effectiveness of intelligence-based weapons and abilities. Constitution determines your total amount of health points and the effectiveness of constitution-based abilities required to equip heavier armor. And then willpower determines your total amount of focus points, your innate magical resistance, and the effectiveness of willpower-based abilities. Interesting. Okay, so it seems like every attribute option here is going to have abilities that will scale off of it. Or, um, I guess weapon. Yeah, abilities are abilities, I mean. Yeah, dexterity based weapons and abilities. I don't know, an attack with your, ba with your like, main hand weapon. I kind of an ability, right? Like, you can be disarmed, so you don't have the ability to, uh... Anyways, man, this is a little bit interesting. Like, if you're a tank, you want this because you want more health and equip heavier armor, but then you probably would also have a shield. It's very interesting that your block chance... Like, it kind of makes sense to Dexterity. Would, like, you know 
be related to your ability to block well, because you kind of got to be dexterous and whatnot, and block that shit, you know, quickly, and... But I, I mean, I bring this up because, personally, whenever it comes to RPG games like this, like, you have a lot of room for them to be overly complicated, but you don't want to forget the fun factor, and personally, I find it very fun whenever you only have, like, two stats that are, like, primarily important for a character. And maybe, like, block isn't that important. So, I don't know. I think I'm reading into it too much. Let's just, uh, keep going. Attacks per second, not very good. Crit chance, 19%. Block chance, 15 That's pretty high already as a base stat. He's got a short sword. He's got some armor. Your bleed-out time is 10 times as long. Dude, this guy is a G. Like, what the hell, man? His gear is super good, and it's all locked. I feel like he's gonna get removed. Like, I'm not gonna have him for the rest of the campaign. He just seems too, uh, well off in the beginning. Um, I mean, I almost don't even see the point in looking at all these abilities, but, I mean, screw it. I'm, I'm interested. I'm playing this game, and I'm streaming on the side, basically. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube, so I should just get at it. Um, brutality. Learned. So it looks like there aren't multiple level ups into each skill, it's just a one time. That's kind of nice. No, no, I'm wrong. There is an X level. Requires party level five. Hmm. It doesn't really say their levels. At least anywhere that I'm noticing. So I must mean everyone levels together. Experience. Okay, so everyone levels as a group. I've seen that before. That's not too bad. Um, let's see, we got Heavy Strike. Deliver a powerful blow at target foe that deals heavy damage, particularly effective against knockdown targets. Cost is 8 focus points. Scaling attribute, weapon, weapon requirement, melee, cooldown for 0.9 seconds. Deal weapon damage, deal 297 weapon damage. If target is knocked down, deal 297 weapon damage. I might be reading something wrong here, but it seems like the damage is the same whether they're knocked down or not. Hmm. And then that could level up into lacerating strike. Deliver a powerful blow at target foe that deals heavy damage and leaves them bleeding. So this one just applies bleeding. It's the same effect, but now you have bleeding for five seconds. The damage is all the same, too. Hmm. Okay. Pressure points increase all damage against humanoid creatures. Two-handers increase your damage with two-handed weapons. Next, bloodthirst. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm one of those people. I like to read everything whenever I first see it. That's why I'll probably cut this out for, like, YouTube. I'm sure people on that wouldn't want to see all this extra bit. They don't really care. I mean, plus, if you're not playing the game, if you don't watch the game that frequently, a lot of that stuff just doesn't matter. I'm a viewer, too. I watch people play shit. It doesn't matter. But I'm playing it, so I want to have a good understanding. I plan to play through all three of the campaigns. I mean, maybe I won't. It's the first campaign, though. Let's, you know, finish that, see if I even like this game. I'm not committing to anything here. Um, I'm just giving it a shot. Let's see, two-handers. So it looks like you can customize their focus. Okay, that's cool. Dual wielding, increase your damage when dual wielding. Hmm. Seems pretty substantial. Kind of looks like an overall. I wonder if that affects abilities or just your basic attacks. Bloodthirst, gain increased focus generation uh, when you're below 50% health. So I'm guessing perks are like passives, right? That seems to be what's going on here. Yeah. Increase your weapon damage. So this leads into uh, whirlwind strike. So will damage to all enemies around you. And we got rate is deal massive damage to a building. That's really interesting. You have the, the two-handers, which typically you think of whirlwind attacks with two-handed weapons, at least for me. 
uh, and then you have this building, like, destroying attack, which, I mean, I would associate with an axe, you know, a two-hand axe over duels of wielding. Very interesting, though. Um, and then Unleash Wrath. Temporarily applies hasten to yourself and grants you immunity against stun. 15 seconds. Gotcha. So this is the Brutality Tree. So this seems to be uh, primarily geared towards dealing damage. Um, we got Discipline. Increase your health. Faint. Deal damage to the targeted enemy plus half weapon damage and interrupts it. Uh, increase damage against weakened enemies. Target does not have condition. Heal 297, otherwise. Oh, see, that's that's a substantial bonus in damage. Taunt. You have taunt? And you can use it once every 8.2 seconds? That's crazy. Like, who are you taunting? Like, they must have big creatures or something worth taunting. This is wild. Like, what kind of game is this? It's... This is like the most complicated RTS game I think I've encountered. <laughs> like, I'm not saying I have a huge catalog of RTS games I've played, but like... This is significantly more complicated than, than many of the ones I've played. <laughs> There's so much. <sighs> Man. Something I didn't like about Warcraft 3, like, as a lazy child playing the game, was using those active abilities. Like, I would always focus my armies around passive effects and things of that nature. And just regular ass basic attacks. Hmm. As long as you're using a shield, increase your block chance and piercing resistance. I, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see and play a game that has so many options for active abilities. Perhaps it's not as important as it seems. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we have a bunch. I'm not going to go through all of these. I think I'll go through them as it matters. That's something I've been trying not to do in video games. I don't know if you've ever done that. If you're, like, someone who likes to read everything, like myself. Um, you know, you spend so much time reading everything in the game. And, like, all of the before stuff, I guess. I don't even... can't use my words well today, I guess. Perhaps it's just the nerves. Um... But, you know, you spend so much time reading that you don't really get into the meat of the game. And sometimes, it's why I've been playing games on hard mode all the time, sometimes it's better to just jump in and make mistakes, and then once you kind of figure out the easiest stuff that you didn't need to read anything about, then once you do read that stuff, it becomes that much more useful. Because you already have, like, a good understanding of um, where stuff is. So I guess kind of what I'm getting at is I could read through all this, a lot of it doesn't matter too much to me right now because I don't have a full grasp of the game and, like, how things really work and how important stuff is. Like, I don't know how frequently I'd be leveling up. Like, you can put extra points into this ability. So, like, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be hitting, like, level 5, 10, 30 by the end of the campaign or Warcraft 3 did that where your characters would keep their levels through each mission. Um... Or if it's going to be something where um, each mission just gives uh There's no way they're not going to have you continue level ups. Yeah. Anyways, it you just end up rereading stuff. I'm going to try not to do that. Huh? Let's see. So we got this blessing, light magic. Seems like elementalism, white magic, and black magic. So this is probably like healing stuff. Elementalism. This is probably like damage. And I'm sure this is damage, but maybe a lot of debuffs. That'd be my guess. Um, hmm? So this yes. is definitely a mage, it seems. What is it? We got Anselm, who's got discipline, black magic, and white magic. Interesting. So perhaps he's a kind of paladin. Because this lets you be kind of a tank. And here's that stuff. Orders. And we got Bertrand, who's got archery. Okay. Uh, brutality. That's weird. I guess they let you choose between going more melee weapon versus ranged weapon with this guy, unless you can have... No, no, that's taken up the main slot. I thought you might be able to have two weapons, but nope, doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. 
Brute Discipline. This guy's got some unusual options. Like, I feel like archery is probably going to be used. You got first aid in there. Isn't that weird how archery in games tends to have first aid? I don't, maybe it's just uh, Divinity 2 that makes me think that, but... Like, with their ranged, or, um, is it ranged, or marksman? I just played that game, I can't even recall the name of the, uh, the path. Oh well. Alright, we got his spellbook and automatically added. So, Antelm, that's this guy, looks like you're already geared more yes. towards being a tank. Commander. Um, you are more geared towards the light magic. And you are down archery, yes. and you are down brutality. Okay. Let's see, we got our spell book. Here's our main quest. Side quest is know your surroundings. No man's land. Reach the outpost, set up resource production. You're on the way to an allied Nortander outpost. Your mission is to regroup with the Nortander forces and stop Isamo Pahar's insurrection against the crown before it grows in strength. Lead your wolf guard to the outpost. Find their commanding officer, which it looks like I've already done. You have reached the Allied Outpost along with the Wolf Guard. Talk to Bertrand. Okay, already did that. Talk to Bertrand. The young soldier seemed very humbled by your presence and is eager to serve you well. He revealed that the uh, betrayer's followers have barricaded themselves inside of a nearby fortress. Okay, the outpost is under attack. You have successfully taken over command and repelled the rebel assault. It's time to stock up on resources. Gotcha. So this is actually just reiterating what I've already done. I thought it might give more information. Looks like we have a glossary. Wildlife. Oh my goodness. And then they even have all these words about wolves. And human units, game mechanics. Oh my gosh. This game is massive. There's a lot to this game. Holy crap. What did I get myself into? Humans, elves, and orcs. What is this? Progress? Okay, well, um, how do I turn that on again? Boom. Wood, missing one, retreat, demolish, woodcutter. How do I assign a worker? Missing something. Sign workers to the hunting cabin. Uh, wait, what? Am I? Okay, I'm actually struggling to figure out how to assign a worker. Um. Oh. Oh, gotcha. That's why. I didn't read that. Good. Now let's build the barracks. Gotcha. Okay. That's easy enough. And there's my total workers. Okay. Building construction. Press N or use build button at the bottom right to open the construction menu and select building place it. Your sectors, buildings can be rotated by holding uh, that and then pressing to confirm the placement. Oh, that's useful. Launch barracks. Wow, this barracks is pretty big. I wish I could zoom out a bit more. Like you can't actually zoom out that far. Um, that's a road, so I don't really want to put it on a road. That is just so close to that fire, but you know what? Maybe we don't do that. I mean, it's almost in the road. Gosh, I'm not normally one who cares about this, but geez, it's so busy. I don't feel like there's a nice little patch of land to place this thing. 
No, screw it. Wait, what? By holding... Oh. So if I wanted to cancel this... Interesting. I didn't pay attention to my resources. I don't know if I... Gotcha. Okay, simple enough. There are many RTS games that actually don't let you rotate things, and by many, I immediately think of Blizzard games. That fine. Dude. Okay, let's just place it there. I'm gonna try not to care about this stuff so much. Got drill sergeants. Whoops. Okay, barracks right next to the fire. That's building up. We can explore the land some. Huh? Looks like these are all my heroes. General, that? I advise against issuing orders directly to a war. Enough. Tell you know, the taskmaster if you want something. The quicker we get those soldiers on, the better. Instead. Okay. The barracks recruit a unit. Select a blanket and building production menu. You can set. Gather point for recruited units. So uh, first place in military buildings, only lower tier units will be available for recruitment. Okay, now a crime more valuable and sign workers your barracks and speed up the recruitment process. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I'm ready. Yes. I got a scout as well. Alright. I mean, it looks like we have a road to the right, but you can't pan any further that way, so I'm guessing enemies won't come from the, the east. Looks like they'll possibly come from the west or the north. Let's mm -hmm. see. Select all military units. Got a royal soldier and infantryman. So you're actually better than the average. Oh, everyone's selected still. Of course. Wait, so shift removes? Oh, that's not what I thought would happen. Wait, how? What is it? Wait, what? How would I? Hmm? Should I have to do it in the opposite order? I have to get rid of the ones that I don't want? I'm used to being able to just shift, like click one, and then shift, click right, and then it'll highlight all of the ones up to that point. But that is not what yes. happens in this. Okay, so let's remove you guys then. Or it's just something I'm doing wrong. So if I wanted to remove one of you, yes. how would I do that? Hmm? Uh, what is it? Okay, there must be. Yes. A way to do it. Oh my okay. goodness! You know what? Who cares? All right, let's just. Oh my goodness! Right. Good idea. This Good idea. is gonna take some getting used to. I do like that you can drag to the right to kind of set up a formation. All right, we'll have those guys start up there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be slow in the beginning. I think that's already obvious. Waiting your orders. Based off of what you've likely seen already. Let's see. We will train some infantrymen and some arbalists. Um, it looks like that's. Is in production. That's the queue. Our that's provisions are running low. We need more food. I ride with Harry. Okay, good. At least that works. Made up your mind. Orders. Okay, let's set all the heroes to the. Okay, your squad. Two. 
Chief of Masters. You can just squat one. I command. Uh, you are just three. Where to? Let's explore a little bit. Onwards. Go. So it looks like we're gonna explore the southern plateau. Okay, there aren't any lootable objects, it seems. Hey, where are you going, horse dude? What's this pathing? Wait, can you not go any further? Why? Okay. It's best probably not to question it. That thing is a bit jank. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, it's blocked right here. Gotcha. Okay, that was my bad. That thing seems to be fine. So there's... Wait, I'm a fucking fool. That's where I started at in the beginning of the game. Oh my gosh. Alright. Don't mind me. Just, yes. uh, noob here. I ride with Harry. Fucking. It's funny, like, I'll watch other YouTubers and the streamers do stuff. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, there's enemies right there, right? Yeah, he's red. He's Probably down. an enemy. Um, anyways, I watch other streamers and YouTubers, and sometimes I'll watch them, and I'm like, dude, how do you not see that thing? It's so obvious. It's right there in front of your face. And it's like, man, you've never streamed before, you've never created a video, or tried to record one, yet you might not know. You might not know there's actually, uh, some difficulty in multitasking in such a way. I think a lot of it comes Come down on. to the experience as well. Right, just having the experience and doing it, I think will make you a lot better. So this infantryman, I don't, how do I select just one? So he's got 700 health We're versus the royal order. soldier. Don't you command. So standard Wait, infantryman yes. has measure. much higher stats mm -hmm. than a royal measure soldier. Command. That's what I was wondering. I actually thought he'd be a more um, powerful unit, and it seems like he's actually a more a mediocre unit. Perhaps he was one of the, um, he must be one of the leftover soldiers from that battle that happened during the tutorial, and, uh, he's just not very, he was probably meant to die. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Okay. I wish I selected. Cool, if that's the case, you'll be the forward force. Control group three. Crap, let's remove you. She's the fastest we have. How do I talk I'm to ready. this guy? Bertrand. Let's see. What do I do? Talk to Prime? Do I have to like mm. select him and then right click? Good. That should yes. suffice. So, Carpal, that fortress you mentioned, is that the ruin up north? Yes, sir. That's where Tahar's hiding. All right. Then let's take some men with us and put an end to this bastard. We should be able to blast through his barricades now. Let's head out. Hmm. Quest rewards. That's so wild, man. This game has so much to it. Upon completing a quest, you might be presented with a reward. Select the chest in your quest tracker and choose one or several items to your liking. Selectable rewards. Um, sure. I'll take a health potion. Consumables. You've... Oh, they're shared. Why do they all show up beneath each character? That's so weird. Um, you have obtained a consumable. These items can be used from the inventory. You can drag and drop them to a slot on your quick access bar. Okay. Find a way inside the old fortress. Investigate the main entrance. So that's actually this way. I ride with Hero. Uh, well, let's send our scout up north then. Let's see what's going on up here. Hmm. Also, um, it says, according to my stream elements thing, I have a viewer, so welcome viewer. Um, first time, essentially, streamer here. Very inexperienced. Playing a game I've never played before. 
after a long uh, vacation of not playing video games on a PC for a while. So yeah, take it for what you will. I'm giving the streaming stuff a shot. What's weird is, like, I have this question mark. Do heroes have to click on these things? That does seem to be the case. So my scout doesn't actually count as exploring the surroundings. I wonder why. Get on here, hero. Collect all the loot. Order she is. Bum, bum, bum. Gotcha. Um, all right, let's see. Where's the other question mark? It's over here. So these roads are like blocked off. It must be temporary, right? Like I can't go that way. Wait, unless this is the question mark. Actually, that must be it. Right away. She's the fastest we have. Okay, let's um. What is it? Let's actually send let's all go. the heroes Ignore. with this squad. I ride let's with go. Need scout. All right. Yes. Ah, sorry, Scout. Don't want you. Alright, oh, attack. Attack my minions. Kill them all. Alright, killing some spiders. Animations are pretty good. Oh, alright, you know, let's, let's attack these guys too. Screw it. Get in there, boys. And honestly, you don't get in there, Scout. Hero death help. Oh, he died. Sorry, bro. It's probably gonna happen a lot. If one of your heroes falls, it's not the end of your journey. As long as you can see the revive timer above, they can be helped again. Okay. You guys, you should just join the fray over here as well. Dude, what are you guys doing? Everyone, attack. You know, select all military units. Attack. Go. Fight together. Come on. Make it quick. Wait, what is it? If you control right, then they attack everything on the way, I think. Okay. So do I have to wait two minutes to revive this guy? Oh no, you can revive him. That's cool. Alright, well so much for that guy being a tank. He's not doing so hot. Interesting. Okay, I think in the glossary they told me about a loot all button. I would very much like to know that button, because loot seems to fall quite often. Loot, press right on the loot and then either select take all or end of it. Okay, I misread the looting. Do I really have to like manually click everything? Huh? This is like a micro-heavy game, then, I'm guessing. Can I chain commands? Let's see. So if I shift this and that, what happens? Nothing. And if I control right... Okay. Oh, I missed something. Okay, how about you go there and Bertrand... Dude, oh my gosh, these controls are gonna take some getting used to. Understood. Go over there, Bertrand. Pick up that loot. Hmm. Let's see, so all the food is gone? Well, what is this? I don't even... 0 of 60. I have a worker in there. What's going on? 39, 0. Wood, 0 of 10. Do these numbers change? 559, 240. Yes. Um, let's change all army to one. Okay. I'll take a look. Wait, you don't equip your basic units, do you? No, only heroes. Okay. They kind of set up in a formation automatically. Yeah, we kind of do, I guess. Let's go down this way. I guess we'll collect more food along the way. 
kill some spiders while we're at it. Okay, everyone go to aggressive stance. Uh, let's go. Attack! Attack my warriors. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, I believe it quite a bit. Blessing. Okay, it's kind of a small heal area. Looks like your focus is coming back pretty quick though, so that's cool. Alright. Of course. Got a special rock over here, it looks like. Got some more loot. Dude, the loot is coming so fast in this game. I just really have no desire to keep like opening up the inventory, swapping yes, between yes. the characters, and equipping the loot. So I'm probably just gonna do that, you know, at sporadic sure. intervals while playing. Huh? Oh, whoops. Come on, get in there, team. Go collect that wood. Wait, there's... What the fuck, man? This game lets you click on so many little things. This is bonkers. Like, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but I'm kind of a simple person. And I'm fine with not having a ton of options all the time. Like, why can't I just go near it and it automatically get picked up? Personally, I think it'd be far more enjoyable. I mean, yeah, you remove the aspect of, oh... You have to, like, see it, you know? You gotta see the item, and then you, you get rewarded by being able to pick it up, but... It's not that fun. It's not fun to do. What's this? Come on. Blazes. They mutilated him. You think the rebels did this? Yes. They didn't rob him as highwaymen would have. Then why? Why did they kill him? Uh, power brings out the worst in us because Tahar wants mayhem. How about I just I don't know? Find out. <laughs> Another reason to get that bastard and hang him by the neck. Indeed. Oh, they're implying that the rebels did this. I guess that makes sense. But like, just because the rebels did this doesn't mean like the commander of the rebels would know why they mutilated the guy. They could have done that on their own. Orders. Onwards. Fine. Mm. All right. That's cool. It looks like this game has little, like, things that you can... Like, little bits of lore, I guess, where if you find them and click... Whoa, look at these guys. Commander. Um, they look strong. Let's see, Deadeye, Dale. Damage is increased, the target is at full health. Dude, that does a lot of damage. Get in there. Fuck them up. Yes! Get in, lads. Oh, this will be fun. Come on. Let's use these abilities. Okay, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna be good at healing my folks here, so there's gonna be some casualties for sure. We'll get better over time. Alright. Overall, quite successful I would say. I like this Deadeye ability. That did quite a bit of damage. Alright. Um, looks like we got a winding path. That's kind of cool. I think the environments of this game, like the map design, is very well done. I mean, the game looks incredible. Like, compared to other RTS games I've played, like, look at these guys, man. They look fucking awesome. I have to say it's a very busy looking game. Because of all the foliage and whatnot, you have a lot in it. That's definitely going to make it a little bit more complicated um, to identify various uh, shit going on in the game. Come on, get him. Heal. Let's throw down that ability. Oh, you have a shield bash. Okay. Cool, another hero died. Level up. Press K to distribute your ability and attribute points. Okay. Well, it looks like we lost an infantryman. <laughs> uh, Anselm. Well, he died again. I think he's gonna die quite frequently. Um, this is his second death so far, and that's in like the last 20 minutes, I think. Cool. Uh, let's heal him up, I guess. That's kind of a weak heal. 
let's see, so this is K. So K just, that's I, that's K. Okay. And I have to go to each of these guys and put in their points. Oh my goodness. So I think you already, you do not have a point in that or that. So how do I tell? It's kind of hard to tell if there's been a point. Okay, that's a no. Huh. So I guess you tell by if it tells you what the next level is beyond what you have. Gain increased focus with generation when you're below a certain threshold. How about we just party level seven for that? Party level five? Sure, let's increase your damage to humanoids. And you get one attribute point. Scaling attribute is weapon. See, that's a bit... How do I... What kind of weapon do you have? So you have a strength-based weapon. So that means your strength is probably going to be more important than screw it. Alright, we'll apply. Alright, I wonder if there's going to be an option to respec in this game. Because, like, I'm so new to the game that I feel like the stakes are just bound to happen. I mean, and plus it kind of forces these characters down some paths already. And it's like, well, what if you didn't want to have them down that path at all? And see, damage and interrupt a target. Blessing. That's actually kind of useful. Let's see, you already have that. Uh, tear a shield. Temporarily shield a target. It absorbs 365 damage. It's a small amount. Transfer focus from yourself to an ally. Mark target enemy. All units attacking this enemy will get healed. That actually sounds kind of cool. So you heal... Heals all units attacking the debuff target. So they get 7% of their health per swing, perhaps? Reduced focus. Let's, let's go with that. Alright, gotta do this. Are these willpower-based abilities? Willpower it is. So it looks like willpower is probably healing. Intelligence is like the damaging spells, I'm guessing. Um, Anselm, let's see, you die a lot. I don't even want to give you taunt, because I feel like you'll just die. So let me hear war cry. Dude, this guy dies so frequently, there's just no way. I want to give him a taunt. He's such a weak character right now. Do you have a sword and board? You do. Alright. Really, it's a mace, but looks like your constitution is where you should go. I'm guessing that's a constitution. It is. Alright. First aid. I don't really want you to be a healer. Hawkeye, reveal target area, standing. And the revealed area gives you improved attack speed. Summon one crow for 10 seconds. 100% attack speed to allied caster in the area. That's actually pretty good. All right, we'll go with that. Looks like your dexterity, boom. Jeez, look at all these abilities already, man. This game just throws them at ya. Gosh. Hmm? All right, um. I wonder... I think this force is strong enough to keep going. It's the first mission anyways. I'm sure yeah, we were getting through here. Yeah, too difficult. Mm. Can't we get the workers to build a battering ram? Sure, brother. With luck, it'll be finished right in time for Asamo Tahar's coronation. We don't have that time. There must be another way, so let's take a look around. Oh my gosh, it just occurred to me that this guy right here... I think, um, Geralt from, like, The Witcher is the voice actor. Like, this sounds just like him. You know, actually, might as well just double check real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Henry Cavill, uh, Spell Force 3. Wait, what? Okay, I mean, this is a little bit of a distraction, but there's no way Henry 
Cavill is not gonna continue being the Witcher, right? Uh, it's just all speculation. All right, let's not get caught up in that. Um, how about Spell Force 3, um, what's this guy's name again? Sentenza Noria. Um, Sentenza Noria, I hope I spelled that right. Does it tell us his voice actor? Um, no, this is all literal info about him. Okay, maybe I actually need to type that in. Voice actor. Oh, should I Geralt? Never forget. He did voice acting. Um. Okay, well, it looks like he might be. I was really hoping for, um, that's the guy who played, oh, he, he's the voice actor for Witcher? I didn't even know that. Interesting. For some reason, I actually thought Henry Cavill was, which is foolish in hindsight. Uh, let's just do a control F. Spell Force, yes! And it says the narrator. Okay, well, I don't know. It sounds like him. I don't want to waste too much time trying to figure out. Find a way inside the old fortress. So I'm guessing they Stay want on. me to build like a battering okay. ram or something. So we'll just set you guys up like that. Let's see. If I even have that as an option. Hunting cabin, stone cutter, a billet, watchtower, a barracks. I don't even have a stone cutter. How would I build a stone cutter? Where's stone around? Is there even stone in the sector? So do I just build this anywhere and they just start collecting stone around or do I have to build it near this? That has not been explained to me. Main quest, find a way inside the uh Hmm. What is it? Let's actually pan around a little bit before jumping to conclusions. Just because I think I should be able to build like a catapult or a battering ram does not mean that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, that may not be an option yet. Let's see, uh, where's this quest thing? Rebels up barricade, find a way to break through. Hmm. Doesn't even, this isn't even an interactable. Okay, let's um, actually, let's just explore. Let's go down here. Gosh, I love the elevation changes. Ah, like look at this. This is so look, cool looking. There's a path over there. You're right. If we're lucky, that one leads into the fortress too. When it really, that's all I had to do? Made up your mind. Oh my gosh, all right, see? Right. <sighs> Overthinking oh, it some. That one's been dead for weeks. Looks just like you in the mornings, brother. You're not funny. Easy. Good job, team. Get at it. Oh, looks work. like she has a ranged attack. Go. That's good to know. Oh my gosh. Jeez, the map design is so good, Sir? though. Mm -hmm. What's the story behind this part of Nortender? Whose lands were these? House Vestel, a minor house loyal to Iskander. The house's patriarch and his wife got taken by the Red Fever, and they didn't have an heir. Interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm coming from, like, primarily Warcraft 3 and Starcraft. Um, I played both Starcraft 1 and 2 a good bit. Um, but anyways, they do not have map design. Anything Shit, like this. Two arms. My fair maps are very simple. For the crowd. A talk. Let's see. Dead eye. Yes. Uh, Hawkeye. Let's see. Heal. 
I'm um, just trying to use all these little abilities that I've got. Because why not? Let's see, Damnation. I feel like that's something I'd want to cast on a big boy character, but... I don't know, I'll just do it for now. Alright, we got another wave of them. Get in there, guys. Take out this guy. Pass that. Oh my gosh, are we gonna lose this? Oh no. Come on, guys. Don't die on me. Actually, this guy is pretty tough. I don't think this sometimes a guy is going anywhere. Oh gosh. Blessing, heal him. Oh no, they caught him. Okay, we survived. We survived, though. Thank goodness you can, uh, revive the guys. Oh, so Anselm did die. <laughs> or did die, I mean. What a surprise. Hmm. Alright, cool. Well, we survived. It seems focus does not come back that fast. I thought it came back faster than it really does. Huh? see what's up here. Scaffolding unlike the rest of the fortress, which shows no signs of weathering. The rebels must have erected it to further fortify the ruin. I do like all the voice acting in the game. I think it's pretty good. I have no complaints. Oh, I don't think I got him with the heal. Charge! I think I should create some more soldiers. Let's get six and two more archers. Let's actually make it eight. And let's just have them come. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, what's going on here? Oh no. I just attracted more. Come on, form a line. Retreat. What are you doing, soldier? Get in there. Fool, quit aggroing more enemies. A resource store of barracks. You got Dude, it. you guys are much too aggressive. Fine. Let's just chill Bye, for a moment. I'll stay. Let's get some reinforcements, huh? Minus eight? Oh, do I not have enough food to build all of these people? Um, you know what? I don't really care. Actually, can I set this to a certain hero? Orders, orders. Oh gosh, barracks. Let's set you on control nine. I'm ready. Okay, cool. You can. That is beautiful. I love it when you can do that. Oh, that's interesting. They show a little um, cut through of the environment to show you the unit. I like that. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, I just realized we're letting Anselm Stay just me, wither you? away. <laughs> Some tank he's turning out to be. What is it? Um, let's wait for like one more soldier to come right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way? All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah! Charge! Get ready. All right. Let's just try and fight them all. Let's just throw a heal out. Yeah, fuck them up. That's all of them. Now, where's that traitor? Good question. I'd wager they're inside the fortress. With a bit of luck, they haven't heard the fighting. Irrelevant. Let's find them. Hmm. 
enter the fortress dungeon. Those guys are just chilling right there. At your command. Fine. I very much like that you can do this. Like, I play um, Total War Warhammer, like two, primarily. And just being able to do that with the units and set their formation is so nice. It just feels good. Feels very, very good. Charge! Charge! Oh, jeez. That's a big boy. Alright, let's get some healing. Use all the abilities. Cool. That gatekeeper was strong. Easy to kill in the end, but he was strong. No complaints. Huh, let's grab his loot. He had a simplistic key. An old key that seems to have been made rather shoddily. I have to say this, I've got mixed feelings about. I feel like that text box should be above the cursor. Like, it's covering the words. It doesn't matter that much, but it's like a little minor critique, I suppose. Hmm. Would you like to travel to Fortress Bastel Burial Caverns? Let's wait for this guy to show up. Hmm. Okay. Elmond Vastel, Duke of House Vastel, was always said to be an eccentric, an artifact collector with an interest in shaper culture. He was patron of many excavations in Iskander. The last one performed right below his own castle. With his lands left deserted, the caverns below the fortress are as enigmatic as they are dangerous. Isam of Tahar could not have picked a better hiding spot. Hmm. That's so interesting. I've never, um... done anything like this. It's a dungeon what off of this? the main map. Did you hear that? Must be the troubles you mentioned, Carpal. Whatever it is, it plays into our hands. They won't hear us coming. Pray tell. So I guess we're just gonna leave all the uh, soldiers and archers behind. We got some undead. Hmm. I'm ready. For the queen! For the queen! Undead! Damage types and resistances. Weapons and abilities inflict one more types of damage. Uh, strike, Fierce, Magical, or Siege. Any damage inflicted from these is reduced depending on resistances. Pure damage cannot be resisted. Um, you can preview your enemy's resistances. Yeah, I already do. No, go attacking people. Um, let's learn more. Yeah, I already learned about that stuff though. Status effects are affliction and blessings that are applied to targets by certain spells. Yeah, gain additional. Some spells are become stronger when constants. I gotta take a look at the spectre tools. Okay. You got it. Looks like we got some hidden loot over here. Okay. So I do think I will take this moment to take a quick look at the inventory and see if we have any upgrades. I don't think the Sentenza guy is gonna be getting any, and I have a sneaking suspicion that he's gonna die. So let's not even fret about him. I think you could use more focus and magic scroll. If target does not have condition empowered, imply empowered. Is this a one-time use? It must be. It's a scroll. Um, yes. Let's see. How's this hatchet compared to your mace? The damage is actually a little bit less. I don't think it's better. Orders. How about you? Is this bow better? Yes. It does seem to be better. Okay. Well, at least you get a buff. Mm -hmm. An improvement. Oh, you can have a helmet. Oh, that's... That's cool. It actually shows a helmet on the model, and you can spin them around. I didn't even notice. So I think this... Wait, what? Yes. Yes. Is that guy bald in that portrait? Yes. He doesn't look bald. It looks like he has hair. Like that. What is it? 
Wait, what? <laughs> this does not look like her brother. Yeah, there's a bigger photo right there. Um... Hmm. Well, we'll definitely put a helmet on him. There's something odd about that. Pray tell. Gosh, I have to say, though, these graphics do look great. I love that the, uh... The looks at the items and whatnot look different. How about the bow? Did that look different? It did. Yeah, those little details. Like, why is that in an RTS game like this? I don't know, but they added it. I'm not gonna complain, I guess. The attention to detail in this game is pretty, pretty awesome. Ooh. Well, that is better. As you command, make up your mind. Okay, let's continue onward. Acknowledged. We'll continue. More of them. Tiara's breath. What is this place? A graveyard? Get in there, guys. Yeah. Shoot an arrow at this one. Actually, if you don't have the ability, it's Sir, do you long. think this is Tahar's doing? Necromancy? Possible. He's a black mage and he has plenty of material to work with down here. Why? Well, when the red fever struck this region, they had to bring the corpses somewhere to prevent the plague from spreading. This is the place. Huh. Yuri. Watch up more on them. Take them down! Attack. Can you even afflict bleeding on undead? Doesn't matter, you dying. Well, it's kind of weird how, um, right here it doesn't actually show the units on the other side. Like how, um, in the map prior to this one, the unit that was running up those steps, you could actually see him through the, uh, environment. Mm -hmm. Looks like it depends. On all these things. Mess him up. Yeah! Let's go. You know, we're collecting gold and stuff from killing these guys. Where even is my currency? Right? Is that XP or gold yes. that's dropping when you kill these creatures? Right hmm. Onwards. Gosh, these environments are really good though. up on that ability. Yeah, see it said plus 55 gold. Ah, there it is. What by Tiara is this place? What are these stone heads? That's a good question. Maybe there's a reason why Tahar picked this place for his rebellion. Hmm. Understood. exact same bow. Right. And that just pick up actually. Two handed axe. Hmm. What is it? Of course. I can say with certainty I've never played an RTS game quite like this one before. Definitely unique. Vortex Lask. Pull all targets toward the target position. Hmm. You know, let's uh, put my... Hmm. Wait, where... Where'd it go? Wait, where? Where? Where'd the? Did he drop it? Oh, he Orders. did. How do I? Uh, 
Sure. Okay. So you can't put them here. It looks like, and I can't put it in the action bar. Uh, do I have to open up the inventory to activate that? Oh. Wait. It's an orb. Wait, is it? I interpreted that as being a one-time use. Uh... It probably is, right? Oh, sometimes if I wanted someone to... Gotcha, that just goes to this. Okay. Lots to this game, that's for sure. You know, I have to say what's pretty great is that I have been recording for it looks like an hour and 23 minutes live for an hour and 20 minutes, and I've only had 125 dropped frames, which is 0%. Right away. I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to stream and record All at the right. same time. However, no, I mean, if there's no dropped frames, then that means the stream looks fine, right? Sorry, since I'm new to uh, this whole streaming thing, I got to check real quick. Let's actually open this up over here. <laughs> oh, that was about to be bad. Hmm. hmm. So, what sort of lag is there? So, what sort of lag is there? Not too bad. Not too bad. Looks like it's about one, two, Looks like it's three. About one, two, three. Okay, about two seconds, huh? It looks it's fine. About two Yeah. It's so weird to watch yourself it's so weird to watch with this yourself. delay. And then hear yourself just a few seconds later. Fine. Huh. Alright. That was fun for a bit. Okay. Yes. Get in there, guys. Animation on this one. Oh, this will be fun. Ooh. Oh gosh, that guy hurt. Run! Run! Team. Good job, team. Nope. Oh, get back over here. Come on, frontliner. Yeah. Can I heal all? Yes. Mess them up, team. So these skeletons can have bleeding on them. Wait. Actually, I don't know if that applied bleeding. It had the bleeding effect. I thought I leveled up. That skill. But I didn't because I can't. Never mind. What's that bleeding effect then? It doesn't actually apply bleeding. And That's it has bad. like a drop of blood. Weird. <laughs> Curious to see. Dude, they actually added. Yeah, man, this game is pretty rad. There you go. Let's go. Free tell. That way? All right. Mm -hmm. I didn't even compare. Like, which one's better? Oh, that's a better helmet. Well, Anselm can use that, actually. Orders. Hmm? As you command. Anselm is getting louder. Sound. They must be all the resistances he can get. What was that? From the Queen, please. Intruders! 
Open the portal now, and kill the rest! Monty, mess him up. Heal up. I think that damnation skill is super fucking cool. For the oh gosh. Queen! I should have saved it though. Come on, team. Mess this guy up. Nice. Weak huh? sauce. Hopefully we stopped the uh, portal thing. Nullifying class. Gosh, man, I don't even know if I need these things. Game's pretty easy so far. Maybe it becomes more important the further you get. Pebbles and stones rise from the ground, swirl through the air, and dissolve. Some kind of protective magic probably cast by Tahar's mazes. Gosh, man, look at these effects, though. Pretty nice looking. I need to try and get better at zooming in on these new enemy types, too. I'd like to see them more before they die. See them in action. Gives you an extra 10 magical resistance. Yes. Looks like you're at minus 1, yes. minus 11, minus 4, minus 15. Well, I'm actually just going to give it? it to you. Commander. Bum, bum, bum. Looks like we explored everywhere that needed to be explored. Actually, more enemies. More enemies means more XP, so let's actually continue exploring. Oh gosh! Oh no! She died so fast! Gosh, you guys suck, man. How'd you let her die so easy? You literally just walked up to her and got her. I think taunt might be more useful than I realized. And why does this guy have to be the one who heals everyone? Anytime I pick up loot, it compares it against what he's wearing or wielding. I find that to be strange. Like, I've tried selecting or highlighting different people when picking up loot, and it doesn't seem to matter. It just always defaults to Sentenza. It's not even an issue, but it is noticeable. It's something I've become aware of. I think I've explored everything else, right? Oh gosh. Um, yeah. There's nothing over oh, there. Right? What the heck is that? Doesn't matter. Just kill it. Okay, attack. Mass damnation, your durability. Oh gosh. Run. Run. Use your abilities. Give them some healing. Dead eye. Kill it, goddammit! Some sort of fun volume looking thing. Throw some healing down. More damnation. Well. Come on, get him before he explodes. Oh no! <laughs> okay, no. never mind. Didn't do enough damage to matter. All right. Good job, team. I'll throw down a quick blessing. Top you guys all off. And continue onward. What the? Stop him! What the fuck? This is just the beginning. Why, Gwen? What were no. you doing? Anselm. Sir? What the fuck? Get a healer in here to take care of your sister. She's dead, sir. And get a mage. Maybe he can track where that portal led. Wait, General? What? I think this one is still alive. Wonderful. A treacherous traitor. Remove that sack. I believe explanations are in order. Eight years have passed. After you attempted to betray your father, Isamo Tahar, he tried to set an example by executing you and the other conspirators in front of his followers. General Noria saved you and took you under his wing. Despite the Mage Wars being over, disquieting developments are taking place. 
backed by the common folk. A cult called the Purity of Light has risen to power and is orchestrating a witch hunt of mages. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that completely caught me off guard. <laughs> I did not expect the mage to immediately run at the other mage and then die. I, I thought the General Noria guy was gonna die, but he survived Gwen dies randomly. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's so wild and unexpected. I'd say the story elements of the game so far, pretty good. Pretty good. Keeping things interesting. Whoa, character creation? What? You get to create a character in this game? Huh. So that was just the tutorial, basically. A prologue. And you get to name him, and then his last name is Tahar. So Tahar is that traitor mage that we were trying to take down. Okay. So you can be a guy or a girl. Looks like you do have different body types, which are actually just height. You got heads. Um, I'm starting with the female because I don't plan to make a female. I just want to see what the options are. Some of these, like... I guess different ages, right? You got different haircuts, options. No, you got, you got different hair colors and different skin colors. Okay. And then, let's, uh... I'm sure you may have heard other people, but I'm one of those people who likes to have the in-game model match the portrait as much as possible. So I have little doubt that that's not going to be really feasible in this game, but... Dude, that's... That's the brother right there. Why... <laughs> they give us the option to have the brother's face? I mean, he was a bald guy, though. So, I mean, I guess he didn't really match his image. Alright, let's see. Let's start with the class, and then we'll kind of build a character that kind of... fits the class, I guess. Alright, we have a soldier, the heart of every battle, soldier knows. How to handle both melee and ranged weapons, as well as armors and shields. You must select zero ability trees. Oh, if you, um, oh, gotcha, that's custom. So if you choose, like, one of these defaults, then it just selects what your trees would be. Gotcha. So you got mage, or you can have a custom one that just has a combination of these effects. Leadership. Why is this one locked? Is it... How do I choose leadership? I don't know what it is, but I'd like to know why I can't have it. Repair, bartering, rallying, or his breath, respite. Maybe, uh... Why doesn't it tell me? doesn't matter which of these classes you choose, you can't have it. Maybe you get leadership no matter what. Like, it has this little spell effect around each of these ability trees. And this one has that same spell effect and it's locked. So perhaps the main character actually has a fourth one. Okay. Let's start at Soldier. So he's got the heart of every battle. Okay, yep, we got Brutality. Offensive abilities that resolve around dealing max damage and close range. Discipline unlocks defense abilities or improve your survivability and tanking while stunning and impairing enemies. And archery. Archery unlocks abilities that improve your mastery of bows and crossbows, allowing you to deal heavy damage at a distance. Mage. Mages focus on mastering all of the arcane arts, making them a devastating yet fragile force on the battlefield. Elementalism. Deals heavy elemental damage and large area of effects. You strengthen, heal, and revive your allies. Allow you to weaken enemies, summon creatures, and deal heavy damage over time. Well, that's kind of cool. Inquisitor combines melee combat with black magic, allowing him to wreak havoc on his enemies by first weakening them with magic and then finishing them off in close combat. Oh, so the General Noria guy? I think this is the tree that he had, because he had black magic in his, and I thought it was kind of strange at first. 
But it seems that's why. He was uh, of the Inquisitor archetype. Keeper. No sight is more encouraging to a soldier than a keeper riding into battle alongside him. Keepers combine defensive techniques and melee attacks with white magic, making them a threat to every enemy on the battlefield, as well as an aid to every ally. So it's the old... It's like the opposite of the uh, Inquisitor. This is like kind of like a Holy Paladin kind of guy. Or you kind of have like a Dark Knight kind of guy. Got Battle Mage, the elite units of the Royal Army. Battle Mages employ both destructive magic and melee, making them versatile warriors that can easily turn the tide of battle. A swashbuckler. Swashbucklers combine ranged combat with elemental and white magic, making them versatile fighters that can easily adapt to any combat situation. Dude, I don't know what kind of archetype I want my guy to be. Hmm. So they do let you look at the trees beforehand. So leech part of all auto attack damage inflicted. That's really good. Okay. Epidemic. Create a temporary sickening fog. That applies weakened to all enemies, which reduces their resistances to all types. And you're getting that no matter what. So that's going to be a main ability. Void arrow. It's got a range of 35. That's a range of 30. Hmm. Damage is in target, particularly powerful against living targets. So it deals bonus damage to the living. Huh. That's interesting. Normally, um, in RPG games, you'll see abilities that do bonus damage to the dead. I don't really see any that do bonus damage to the living. Self-targeted area of effect. Sacrifice a nearby random allied unit to heal yourself. That's kind of dark. Alright. I mean, you heal caster by 299, and a lot of those soldiers that we were summoning had 700 health. Like, the trade-off, in terms of just sheer health, it's not equal. What's the cooldown on it? 13 seconds? Maybe it levels up to be a lot stronger. I don't know if I want that. Summon a group of walking corpses and target area to aid you on the battlefield. Summon a free undead for 40 seconds. That's pretty good. That's just a good ability. I think this is kind of cool too. Um, corpse explosion. Nice. Accept animal slash heroes. Um, and corpse explosion goes into Seed of Darkness. I see the darkness to the target. Immune to blessings when an affliction is applied once every two seconds, cast on self. Deals additional damage for every debuff applied. So, okay, that, that's okay. Plague bear auto attacks have a chance to apply weaken. Trigger 33% trigger spell recovery. That's really good. Day of Reckoning. Conjure Shower of Cursed Blood to fall from the sky into the target area. The chance to apply oil to all enemies caught with it. And oil just slows them down. And that scales with Constitution. That's Willpower. That doesn't have any. That's Intelligence. Intelligence. That's Willpower. It's also Willpower. That's a Willpower. I mean, if you're going for, like, kind of a tank build, really the only useful effects are probably the ones for the auto attacks. I mean, that's not bad. It's just, I don't think a tanky character would want to have a lot of willpower. Hmm. White magic, increase your focus, regeneration, temporary shield, get all allied, non-out, and dead allies, okay. Hero font, the caster has hero font, 25% chance to cleanse all afflictions. Hmm. Damage and interrupt a target enemy. Those bonus damage to undead, not surprising. Mark target enemy. That's a pretty cool one. That doesn't actually have a 
scaling attribute because it's just based off of the. Okay, that's cool. Transfer focus, healing abilities cost less. Generate your focus. Um, resurrect all allies. That's cool. That's a cool effect. Let's see, elementalism. Increase spell power for all abilities. Single target, bolt of fire. And ignites oiled enemies. Hmm. Temporarily encase yourself in ice. Okay, let's see, unleash a fireball. Cast down a short shower of ice spikes. Gain ice might and fire might. Okay, fire abilities, ice abilities, sudden earthquake. Okay. Increase critical hit chance. Weapon requirement? That does require a ranged weapon. I didn't even look at that. These don't require any weapons though. Okay. Dexterity and intelligence. Hmm. I saw um the mage Gwen. She would like cast a bolt of blue light with her staff. I wonder if that counts as a ranged weapon. Cause I feel but I don't know. I feel like an archer could combo well with elementalism. Potentially. Especially if that scales with intelligence. Mm, trap will trap. Eagle eye. Failing shot. Full damage to target enemy. By stun, ricochet, murderous fervor. Okay. Increase your max health. This ability scales off of damage inflicted. Okay, increase max health. Interrupts it. Shield bash. On stun. That scales with intelligence? What does it even mean? Like, how... Does the taunted, like, status effect gain bonuses when it scales with it? Like, how does the scaling even impact it? Hmm. Warcry. That's pretty good. As long as you're using a shield, increase your block chance and piercing resistance. Apply armored to yourself. Cleanse yourself and apply a shield. Your health potions are more effective when you use them. Alchemist blood. Hmm. Brutality. Bonus attack damage. That one was pretty good. That's pretty solid. Increase your damage when dual wielding, right? Gain increased focus regeneration. Yeah. When you're below 50% health. Increase your damage with two handers. Massive damage to a building. Hmm. I don't know, man. You know, let's just maybe go Inquisitor. I like. I'm just gonna go like a dual wielding kind of tanky guy, I think. I mean. I like that. I feel like it could be pretty strong. Like, this one doesn't really combo super well. I don't need the bonus focus. I feel like that's mandatory. This gives you more health, which is probably just useful if you're in the front of shit. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Increase your damage when dual wielding. Hmm. By 10%, that's by 10%. That just increases your block chance. Yeah, I'd probably just go do it. Okay. Brutality, black magic, and discipline. So we're gonna go an Inquisitor type character. sold. 
on any of these portraits. All kind of whatever. No, that's not too bad. But then I kind of like that one. That looks like an older guy. All police type. Well, let's see what sort of options we have. So I guess we want... I kind of like a mid-range guy. Let's see different heads. You know, let's, let's get the hair done first. And then worry about the face after. So we have nine different hairstyles. It's actually going in the opposite direction as this, which is just funny, you know, that little wave there. <laughs> That's funny. So you gotta have a beard. Of course there's gotta be a beard. That's not a bad beard. It's pretty nice. That's a bit of a thicker beard, which actually kind of matches that portrait pretty well. Change the head. Oh, I don't know, man. None of this stuff even matters. I'm not gonna be looking at this guy that much. say with the skin color because it's not really showing any skin color in the portrait in my opinion because like the beard kind of combos with the face so yeah that's gonna be that's fine Albrick I didn't even mess with my attribute points. Whoops. Oh well. Maybe it doesn't matter. Character's dad. His magic brought man. Hmm. Arcane fires burnt towns to ashes. Abominations ravaged the battlefields. Men and women were torn apart with the snap of a finger. Jeez. Only a sacrifice by our queen achieved what none had thought possible. An end to the slaughter. time. 
Lights don't change. Jeez. Oh, jeez. How'd it take that guy so long to notice all those people? He was really close to the dead guy. At least it looked like the he memories. was. Memories float through their halls like fireflies in a misty swamp. While some of them are pleasant, most of them are not. Save for your friend Bertrand, your comrades shunned you, and your promotion into the ranks of the Wolf Guard did not make things any better. Can you blame them? After all, you are the child of Isam Tahar, the man they have spent the past eight years fighting. That's fair. I have to say, the in-game CGI stuff, very good. Very hey, hey, good. Hey, Tahar, wake, wake up! What in blazes is wrong with you? Hmm. Bertrand, uh, wh why did you wake me? Let me think, because you just woke the entire barracks with your screaming. Not the best way to make an impression on the new recruits, don't you think? <sighs> it was that dream again, wasn't it? The nightmare. Yes. Hmm. Look, I know I've said this before, but you did the right thing back then. Your father, he was a madman. Defying him was the only sane thing to do. I mean, I don't know what the dream is, but if I say this option, I'll learn more. It wasn't the dream about the cave. It was the one I've been having since I was a child. Ah, uh, that one. Well, what can I say? You're one tormented soul, my friend. But probably that's why we get along so well. Yeah, probably. But still, sometimes I can't help but feel you still feel guilty about betraying a song. Just don't, all right? You did the right thing. Um, I don't need to ask that. I mean, I think it's obvious. Um, that new cult is out for mage blood, though. Maybe my father was right. Um, you know, being realistic, I don't really know a lot of the motivations behind why the Asamo guy did what he did. So it's hard for me to say I don't have regrets. Um, and then I don't want to agree with him, so let's go with I the know, safer option. Bertrand. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, isn't it? For what it's worth, at least, the new laws will prevent something like that from ever happening again. Magic is dangerous, and your father and his rebellion were all the proof for that. We can't just allow mages to run around using their powers as they please. There just need to be limits, rules, and the new laws are just that. A rule set plain and simple. Those mages, the purity branded, they chose their own fate. They were criminals and murderers. I mean, that's... Were they? You're talking about that woman. Yes, they made a mistake, but come on. All the evidence suggested that he killed that merchant. It's tragic, and it must never happen again. But I can't really blame the judges. And also, the law was never perfect to begin with. But it's better than having no law at all. Well, apparently I'm a mage, so... I'm a mage, too. What if one day they decide that I'm also a defiler? <laughs> Come on, don't be ridiculous. You're a battle mage of the royal army, of the wolf guard, for heck's sake. You use your powers for the greater good, unlike the ones who are being sensed. Corporal Tahar, I... Um... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb. What is it? Lord Marshal Langar and General Noria have requested your presence. You and Corporal Carper are to report to them in the Hall of War as soon as possible. What's it about? I'm not in a position to tell. All right, then. Shall we go together, Tahar? I've been meaning to stretch my legs anyway. Sure. Thank you, boy. You can leave. Of course. Corporal Tahar? Corporal Carper? You should put some clothes on first. Oh, really? Thanks for reminding me. Hmm. Alright, cool. Well, I actually want to check out my 
attribute points. So it seems that it did actually allocate them in an appropriate fashion on its own. That is a good thing. I was a little concerned. You know, if I was right about leadership too. Let's actually just take a look at this stuff real quick. Gain additional focus points. All right. Repair target building by healing it. Hmm. Um, you can encourage to make the building do stuff faster. Oh, interesting. Restore wood in the target area. Restore up to 68 points to log deposits. Grant you an aura and increase the attack power of allied units and allies around you. That's pretty good. Reduce the item cost for everything you buy. Grant you more than increases your resistances. Destroy wood now. Grant you more than increases your focus regeneration. Interesting. So this is more like macro stuff. I'm just... Hmm. I don't know what kind of guy I want my person to be. I'll be right back, though. These restaurants. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to go right on into strength, but I did want to double check. Willpower is a pretty common attribute for a lot of these effects that I would consider using. That's weapon, constitution, intelligence, that's willpower too. Um... Let's get strength up to five. I think I'm gonna do a, a two, one, one kind of ratio. Prioritize strength and then, yeah. And we'll leave these two by the, the wayside. Yeah, all right. And we have some ability points. That's pretty good. Gain additional focus points, it's not even that many. Increase our attack damage. And do I want to go down this path? I kind of do, but at the same time, I don't know if um, I'm going to have other characters or heroes, you know, that have this leadership path. My assumption is no. just don't need the focus points yet. Um, let's just get that. Let's have A ability so I can use my focus points to some degree. Unless I take this instead. That's 12. That's 8. I can knock someone down. That just weakens them. Hmm. Nah, that's probably better. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Well, let's take all of it. Put your equipment on, right? That's cool. They give you different things. So, range 20 meters, range 15. Huh. Scaling attribute is intelligent. Oh, crossbow is strength. And then the short bow is dexterity. Interesting. Wait, what? Medium wolf guard armor. Your bleed out time is 10 times as long. And it actually requires constitution to even wear. Unrivaled by the equipment. The medium wolf guard armor is given to soldiers of average strength. Like most wolf guard suits of armor, it protects the wearer from bleeding. 
on the battlefield thanks to the meticulous craftsmanship that created it. Yeah, that guy's a beefy looking guy. I mean, personally, I'm not a huge fan of that beard, actually. It's a little long for my taste, but it does Ready? match the fourth okay, Let's go. So, no complaints. And for now, we're gonna have an axe and dagger. Cool, maybe I'll be able to sell that stuff. What's this? Let's uh, sort. Do I have anything else? Not really. Okay. Oh, we got Bertrand again. Hello, Bertrand. You have a shit bow again. What happened to the bow that I gave you in the prologue, dude? Where'd it go, man? I thought it was a mighty. You kept your skill point. You lost your gear. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Looks like these guys are praying to some guy on a horse. Right on. Jeez. I really like the environments in this game. This world feels alive. Mm -hmm. Like, you have people just going around doing random stuff. Like, yes. I bet I could go over here, huh? Well, I can. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Like, this is a fully, like... Man, it's all the effort that they went into designing this place. The atmosphere is great. I've got 805 health. My damage is a little bit less. Better resistances, though. Mm. Okay. Well, let's not go to the Hall of War quite yet. Let's just do some quick scouting. Acknowledged. You know, this game seems to have a lot of extra stuff going on with Nothing it. Nothing important there, Tahar. Just some provisions. Requires a gate key. Um, I, this seems like the kind of game that revo that would reward a exploration. I might be exploring a little bit earlier though than I need to. They might just send me to these areas after I go to the Hall of War, but they might not. They might not. Got some flasks. Sure, let's take them. Um, Oh. Will do. Okay, I guess that's everything. Still wish you could zoom out Got a bit it. further. Um, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll get Obviously. used to it. Will do. Um, what do they got going over here? Got some various meats cooking. Like, just imagine, like, being in a keep like this, and this giant roaring fire that they probably never put out. Acknowledged. Hmm. I mean, maybe they do, actually. I don't know what, like, they're using to, to keep the fire going. If it's wood, then I imagine they'll have to clean it pretty frequently. But man, that must be epic to see. Pumpkins, man. They love pumpkins here, it seems. Gate key. Hey, what do you know? Yes. What do you know? Understood. Let's go head on over. Oh, whoops. Yes. It was over here. Will do. Cool. I don't know if I'm getting ahead of myself or not, but uh, chop, chop, of course. they gave me the option. Take them down. A talk. Yeah, fuck them up, man. Let's go. Kind of a cool effect. He's just shooting his bow. Yeah, getting in there. Hmm. All right. Got some crabs over there. Crabs living with the spiders, huh? Got it. <laughs> What's this? A weasel talisman. User is out of combat. Apply hastened. Allied heroes around user for two seconds. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, equip that. That seems super useful. Now we're just gonna run around faster. Mm -hmm. Getting from place Others to place. Permanently, that's awesome. Yeah, that right there was a worthy reward. Let's wait until I get to full health. 
Do I have potions? Oh, that's an orb thing, right. For whatever reason, that gets, you actually have to equip that. Charge! They will fall. Nice. Well, these spiders were much easier to kill. And then what did we get? Another one-handed axe. Cool. That's better. We'll do. All right. Let's um. We yeah. Send them here. Let's. Actually, let's look at this axe. Yeah, look at that, man. It actually matches the little icon. I think that's awesome. I really like that. Cool. Well, we're dual wielding axes. Let's go. Now would you look at that? I'd like to travel to Grey Keep. Confirm. No city of Nortander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain. Its walls and towers were made to withstand every foe and army, from the great orcish horde to a swarm of dragons. It was here that the mage wars came to an end, after an unknown rebel warned the crown of your father's planned attack. You remember the battle that followed all too well. Though many soldiers were honored for their bravery, no amount of medals will make you forget the widow's cries at the funeral pyres. Damn, heavy shit. Heavy shit right there. Oh, oh, finally, some fresh air. Come on, Tahar. Let's head to the North Tower. Let's see. Got a scroll of revitalization. Cool, I guess. I have to say, the game, although it is pretty story heavy, Thinking back to like that first mission, they do throw you into combat right away. I mean, they do try and keep things interesting, despite all the complexities. Uh, quite the you know view, that. isn't it? Just doesn't get old. It's so hard to believe be that some thousand years ago, somebody actually built this place. Gosh, man, this does look rad. Very, very good looking game. This was actually what attracted me to this game in the first place, because it randomly came up on YouTube. Just some like PvP battles, um, yes. or some versus battles or whatever. And the graphics of the game immediately got my attention. Oh. Hmm. May the light have mercy on you. Oh my gosh. There she goes. No more magic for you. You just killed that person? Um... Bertrand seems to hate magic a lot. <laughs> Mage executions, right? The period has become powerful. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with who is who was she, even though it doesn't seem to matter that much. Who was she? I think it's important. No idea. She might have been with the rebels the army recently took out near Windwall. They still haven't given up. By all that can be said about your father, he certainly had his followers. They're like weeds. Whenever you think you've gotten them all, you find a new patch eating away the seeds somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't know the Iron Mask kills right away. Well, from what I've heard, there are two ways it can go. Either it makes you lose your magic, and then slowly your sanity, or it causes a brain rupture once it's branded onto your face. Seems that this woman suffered the latter. I still can't believe the Lord Marshal is allowing them to do this in Grey King. Weren't they an underground movement just some moons ago? They were. Things change quickly, it seems. Now let's move on. Sure. I mean, say this was a bad person. Public executions like this. I feel like that's a 
always going to be a gray area. That is for sure. Talk to the Purity P Priest. Witness the trial in the Hall of Justice. So if this is... This is not the main quest. This is just an extra. Let's talk to him. Yes? Who are you? Just two soldiers. We saw the branding. Impressive work. Hmm. What do you want? Could you tell me more about the purity of light? About your faith? Oh. You're a seeker. Hmm. What kind of character is our guy gonna be? I don't even know what a seeker is. Maybe. Maybe. Interesting. Well, I will do my best to answer your questions. Um, Alright, let's learn about this purity group. Why are they, uh, killing mages? This woman, what does she do? That one? She was one of Asamo Tahar's rebels. They hid in wind walls. But the royal army took out their camp. She summoned the beast that tore apart 13 soldiers before they finally pinned her down. It's good that the mask put an end to her right away. Hmm. Assuming that's true, I mean... But she could have been, like, innocent, you know? It's kind of a tough game here. I, I don't want to assume that she's guilty. What's your problem with mages? We don't have a problem with mages. We have a problem with defilers. What's the difference? Well, a mage is someone who has the ability to tap into the power the All-Father Aeonir used to create the universe. It's a burden, and we are well aware of how some mages suffer. However, having that ability by itself is not a sin. Using it is. Man should not have that power, regardless of stature or morality. But that's what defilers do. They have no humility. They recklessly indulge in their magic and use it for their own purposes. Asama Tahar is the best example. He showed the world how foul and dangerous uncontrolled magic can be. What about battle mages? There are mages in the royal army too. Well, Technically, they are defilers too, but they are a necessary evil, so to speak. Mages are powerful, and in order to keep Nortander safe from them, they might be needed. It sounds paradoxical, I know, but it's the truth. I can appreciate that he's not um, making an excuse for these battle mages, right? Like, he's like saying, well... Technically, anyone that uses magic is gonna be a defiler. Like, you can have it, but you can't use it. If you use it, you're bad. But, you know, we're gonna fight evil using evil. So, I mean, this is actually, this isn't your most common, you know, cult or anything. They do seem to recognize um, the different sides to it, I guess. Can't quite think of the word. But can magic also be used for good? It's not about good or bad, it's about humility. Man was never meant to use magic. And the disregard of this fact is what made the world the vile and corrupted place that it is. So yes, magic can heal as much as it can kill, but that does not change that we are not allowed to meddle with it. We are not gods, soldier, we are men. And until we know our place again, Aeonir will not return. I disagree with that sort of ideology completely. Um, if we weren't supposed to have it, then why why do some of us have it, right? I mean, what's your problem with mages? No, oops. We don't have a problem. What's the difference? Well, a uh, me, but that's what defilers do. But can magic? It's hey, not about yeah, so yes, magic can no, heal as much as it can kill. Do you have some kind of leader? <laughs> Your movement originated in Greyfell, correct? Movement. I don't think you quite understand who we are, soldier. But I have faith that you will soon enough. Regarding your first question, yes, we do. Harbinger of Light, or Rondar Lacain, as his worldly name is known. He is out of the city at the moment. But if you want a chance to hear his sermons yourself, he will return to Greykeep one or two days from now. Hmm. 
Harbinger of Light. What exactly do you believe in? I've been told the purity of light renounces the Guardians. Is that true? Renounce? No. The Guardians, as well as the Renegade Gods, are Aeonir's creation. And they are as truthful as he is. They left us. What do you mean by they left? Well, they were only temporary to begin with. Aeonir created them to tend to our world as long as mankind is corrupted. But now he wants to return to our world. The Guardians have gone back to their slumber. Aeonir wants to return? Yes, Aeonir will return to this world. Twelve moons ago, the Harbinger of Light, our leader, had visions where the All-Father himself spoke to him. He said that after all the suffering we, his creation, had to endure, the time has come to bring peace again. He will reveal himself to us and will make this world one of freedom, peace, and equality again. Hmm. There's a problem with that. I think freedom and equality, they don't mix well. Yeah, not, not at all. I don't think that's going to work out quite as it seems, but I never know. And how exactly will he do this? It's not like there's no reason our world is the way it is. It's a god we are talking about. Not a guardian, but a true god. The only God, the Creator. You're making the mistake I made before the Harbinger showed me the truth, too. You are trying to apply human thinking to something that never was human to begin with. Ah, you can't comprehend it because you're a human. It's impossible to comprehend. But this particular human, our Harbinger of Light, he's the human that, that can comprehend it. You know, there's um, there's a term known as insanity, right? And like, what is, what is insane or crazy, right? I think it's something to do with that, along those lines. Like, you're the only one that could understand it, and no one else can. <laughs> so that's kind of uh, interesting. I guess he is just saying though that that he was trying to use. I don't know, I think this world has elves and, like, orcs, I think, so perhaps, you know, I'm taking human a bit too seriously. And why hasn't he returned yet? Well, that's the reason we're here. Aeonir also told the Harbinger something else, that he will only return once mankind has become pure again. Pure? Yes. Free of the wrong faith. Free of defilers. That's our mission. And once we've succeeded, Harbinger will open the gate so that Aeonir can step through. <sighs> that sounds like nonsense. It's insane. So it's like Aeonir, this god, will bring about freedom, peace, and equality. Okay, but you're gonna remove every other human that does not believe the same thing as you. So... <laughs> You're essentially creating the equality yourself, aren't you? I mean, what, what's A and you're gonna do? I suppose there's people that are gonna be like, you know, very sheepish and fearful and they'll just agree whenever they really don't. But I don't know, this is, this is nonsense. Um, however, it wouldn't be appropriate to tell the priest that it's nonsense, right? He's not gonna respond well, so we won't. Interesting. That's one word for it. Well, thanks for your help. I'll be going. Certainly. Aeonir's light guide your path, soldier. And hey, I mean, we can't judge this priest here. We don't know his backstory, how he came to these beliefs, so I'm not gonna, like, judge him too harshly for it. I mean, I don't know that he's necessarily wrong. I'm not inclined to believe that he's right, though. And I would say that's primarily because of uh, my own backstory and my own experiences with, you know, various religions. The Iron Mask, how does it work? An attempt to explain the functioning of the Iron Mask. Books and notes, you found a readable item. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of words there. I don't know if I want to read this. I kind of do, though. Why not? 
the Iron Mask, how does it work? Of all the inventions of the modern age, perhaps none is as devastating as the Iron Mask. Used primarily by the purity of light, the solid Iron Mask is much more complex than its name implies. The mask severs the connection between the wearer and magic, effectively disabling a mage's talent. The purity has been known to use the Iron Mask on mages it manages to capture. The mask at its core is a means of torture. While known instances are still difficult to confirm, given the guild's limited access to the purity's records, it is estimated that one third of cases result in unintended brain rupture and instant death. This is perhaps the best outcome for a victim. The cause of this reaction is unknown. One theory is the internal conflict between the mask's power and a mage's strong connection to magic overpowers the body. More studies and observations of the Iron Mask's abilities are needed to refine this theory. For other victims, the Iron Mask is a slow and unmerciful death. Unable to see or use their magic, a mage is all but guaranteed to lose their sanity over time. It can take weeks for a victim to waste away as senses slowly duel and the body wanes from lack of use. The end result is always death, often due to starvation, dehydration, or accidental injury from bouts of delusional exertion. Psychosic of the Creator's Guild. That is so dark. Oh my gosh. Like, what the hell? Like, why? Like, you could at least just, like, cut off their head or something or stab them through the heart, you know, just a quick death, because you're essentially killing them, and from all the records that have been shown at this point, you die no matter what. You either die instantly right at the beginning, or <laughs> you die a slow and painful death like they're literally torturing people for having used magic how chop, chop, man. Let's get easy to is that what kind of world is no, this oh that. my gosh and these guys are doing public executions in this keep dude what what happens when they win what happens to all the battle mages the defilers they're easily the kind of people who'd be like you guys have uh, done your your good for us we thank you for all of the hard work that you've shown, and, uh, well, now it's time to put you to rest. Um, <laughs> we no longer have need for your services, Aenir. He wouldn't be too, uh, excited to have you around whenever he chooses to walk through that gate. Of course. Uh, so you guys gotta go. Um, that's messed. A light shield. No mm -hmm. one's using a shield. Pray tell. What's this? An unfinished statue of the goddess Tiara. Oh, that's a quick cool thing. A statue of Roderick Aelith, Queen Aelith's uncle and former king of Mortander. That guy's beard, man, similar to my own. Very kingly. Beard, it seems. Don't talk about the Fight Club. Talk to the drill sergeant. Uh, okay. Where's this drill sergeant? Uh, where, where's my characters? Can I move over there? Okay, I cannot. Let's see, what do we got going on over here? So it looks like this must be the trial in the Hall of Justice. This question mark over here, that must be the training. Okay. Where are we? Look at that! The fabled wolf guard has arrived. Always good to see some friendly faces. Sorry, oh, that's her hair match. Always so stern, Bertrand. What do you need? Some early morning practice? <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Tahar? Who are we fighting? Well, what does it look like? Recruits. Oh no. Almost know what they're doing. I talked about Fight some Club. I didn't know. <laughs> some actual sparring. So, what do you say? My bad. Well, I guess I could do with some practice. Good. Then get in the ring. No, 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 no. It's fireballs you're dodging, not candy. Again. Oh. Brandon, Ronan, come here. Yeah. See these two over there? You'll fight them. But they're a wolf guard. Correct. 
I've seen you two train, and you won't last a second out in the field. Time for you to get some real practice. But Get in the ring. As you command. <laughs> Quite the dragon, isn't she? Let's go easy on the tar. That's amazing. Right, seems Here like go uh, a good commander there. Oh my gosh. He's dead. What happened to going easy on them? Wait, you won, all right? I yield. I said I yield, damn it. Oh. All right. I think they've had enough. Holy crap. Well done, lads. I, I thought we killed the them. Have someone see to those wounds, all right? <laughs> Poor sons. The sergeant is right. If they're going to survive out there, they need proper training. In other words, we do them a favor. So what much is? for going easy on them. Did I like... Yes, that's it. Now again, remember, was I not supposed to do that? Opinions. Like, jeez. Good work. Those pals aren't without talent, but they're far too spoiled by these walls. Hang on a moment. Here. I've heard talk about a new mission, and something tells me it's the reason the Lord Marshal wants to see you. And I guess you could use these. A friendly gesture. I almost forgot how that felt. Don't be so dramatic. So, what do you say? Tired already? My boys could do with more real combat like that. What do you think, Tar? Yeah, yeah you know, let's do it. I could use some more practice. Great. Let's make it more of a challenge this time. Get in the ring when you're ready. You there! Yes, you wolf guards! Get your asses over here! Are you talking to us, Sergeant? I am. I want you to fight Corporal Tahar and Carpal. And just when did we become your recruits? You're not. But my recruits need to see some real combat. And a fight between five brethren of the Wolf Guard would be quite the show. Look, we don't have time for them. We'll fight. But get in the ring. Hmm. That's the Anselm guy. His sister died. Anselm guy is the one, guy two, one, two. That's from it, the prologue it. mission, basically. His sister foolishly ran at the mage. Instead of letting, you know, the soldiers do it, the guys with the swords and shields. You know, she runs at him and instantly dies. You know, so my father, my character's father, killed his sister. So he's got a grudge against me. I can see it now. Ready. Um, Jesus. That guy fought as if he wanted to kill you. Aren't you wolf guard soldiers supposed to be, I don't know, friends? We are. I had no idea what got into him. Maybe, uh, nonsense. Never mind. What is it? Just a stupid thought. Forget about it. Well, my character is a dummy, so I think he needs to be Bruce, told. Tell me. No idea how much you remember from that night when we freed you, but as I told you, Anselm was there together with his sister. Your father, he killed her. Judging by the look on Anselm's face, he hates your guts. So maybe... You think he's blaming me for her death? I don't know, maybe. That's stupid. You're telling me. But anyway, it's just an assumption. I might be completely wrong. Anyway... Here, you should take this as an apology. It was a stupid idea to have you fight each other. I'd suggest another round but I suppose you've had enough by now. And the Lord Marshal's waiting for you. Um, hell no. Let's do it. Well, to be honest, I don't think there's much point in having you beat more recruits. But seeing you fight has reminded me that lately, I haven't had a lot of practice neither. You want to fight us? I. Two versus one? You don't count, Bertrand. <laughs> Very <fun. laughs> Come on, let's not overthink this. Let's get in the ring. Now, I'm on board, dude. This Esve, I think no, the no, voice no, no, acting no, no, no. has been superb so panty. far. I think the story Again. elements are great. I'm actually enjoying this. I'm impressed. Good. Then let's dance. 
Ready to har? Good. Recruits, ready your weapons. Lady, you don't stand a chance, though. Sorry, Esme, but... Two versus one just wins. Some years ago. That's what they all say. Sod off, Carpal. Jokes aside, thanks for the practice. That was a damn good fight. Let's just hope seeing their sergeant in the dust like this doesn't make the recruits act all cocky again. Well, if it does, you'll be there to show them their place. I guess. Anyway, you should go see the marshal now. Good luck, you two. Stay safe. Yes, that's it. Right on. Now, yeah. Dude, honestly, if it was my guy soloing Esme, I think I would have lost, sadly. So Esme, uh, she is not someone you want to mess with. At least alone. Um, let's see, we got a level up off of that. Which did not give any attribute points, just ability points. Okay. Um... I think increasing my damage when dual wielding would be nice, because I don't plan to go two-handed. I like dual wielding. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I also like sword and board, but uh, less damage. And that requires dexterity, which we're not really going for. And yeah. And this right here, all auto attack damage gives me more health back. So, let's definitely do this. I get stunned. That's plus 10 attack damage. That's decent. It's like a 10% damage increase. No, 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 no. Hmm. This would be pretty solid too, but it's not very good right now. Let's go with what's going to give the most impact. I don't have a healer yet, so I kind of want to give him this, but I feel like when I get the actual healer, I'm not ever going to use the first aid. So we will go Impaling Shot. Boom. The stun should be pretty useful anyways. Alright, let's continue our exploration. I have a feeling that there will be other stuff around this map. Perhaps something else I can loot. Or, uh... Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. This just loops around that way. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, claim reward. Shielding amulet. That's pretty nice. Or bonus focus. I don't really need focus, so I'll take this amulet. Yes. What's this? This is a merchant, perhaps? It's a blacksmith. Okay, the only reason I'm taking the long way around is because sometimes in games when you get too close to the the quest objective, it just automatically activates it and you lose the opportunity to do the side stuff. I don't want to lose that opportunity. So let's just keep exploring. So tell me, Tahar, is it just me or has the general changed? Now that came out of nowhere. I mean... Back when I joined the Wolf Guard, he was so different, passionate about our cause. But now, I don't know. Well, the war did take its toll on him, that's for sure. But I think that goes for all of us, doesn't it? Probably. In war, ideals are a luxury, aren't they? I guess. I think there's a lot of truth to that. And war ideals are a luxury. Because, like, right now, like, I'm, obviously, we, were if you're American at least, we're living in times of peace. 
not to imply that people in other countries aren't, though there most certainly are countries that aren't, um, but as an American, quite privileged, and we have a lot of these idealistic views and whatnot, um, we're very fortunate in that way. If, uh, if we were at war right now with another country, you know, chances are less likely that I'd be here right now recording this Understood. video. <laughs> mm -hmm. Streaming this content, so... Uh... Definitely interesting connection. You currently cannot travel to Understood. the Queen's Chambers. Okay. So that implies that we'll be coming back to this area. So all of this exploration does not have to be done right now. Let's talk to this guy. Trading, you just found a trader. I got hard-earned gold coins to use in the trading menu, yup. Okay, you can always see the overall, okay. Cool. So he's got a bunch of inferior stuff. So really, I would just sell him these things. I mean, I guess I'll keep those. I don't really feel like I'm gonna need them. I guess you just sell the books once you read them. I already read it. Whoa, that mace is worth a lot. Um, we're not going against golems, but I guess I'll hold on to it. Just in case we do. I don't really feel a need to buy any health potions. I feel like they're going to give us more. As I play through. Hmm. Bump, bump. Anir's Justice. Few people know the story behind the impressive hall, with its gilded pillars and domed roof. It was constructed in 6542 by King Arif Eilith as a monument to his greatness. Arif was known for his cruelty and decadence, when after a fight, his equally disliked brother attempted to kill him. Arif fled all the way to the top of the Grey Tower, into his shrine, but his brother, sword in hand, followed. A fight ensued in which both of them were fatally wounded. Ever since, the hall has stood as a symbol for justice. Hmm. One thing I want to check real quick is I'm going to open up my stream on Twitch. Because last time, I've only ever really streamed one other time, but last time I did it, um, my audio, I found, was actually lagging. Like, me saying words, you know, was lagging behind uh, the stream. And I just want to see if that's still happening. And it seems it's not. And it seems it's not. Sweet. All right. Well, I guess it fixed itself. Sweet. All right. Well, I guess it fixed itself. That's rad. Hmm. That's rad. Cool. I was concerned about that. I spent a bunch of time like looking up, you this know, how to the fix that yesterday. War. You know that, don't you? Kind of no, Richard, I forgot. But I want to see this trial you were talking about. Ah. Uh, well, it's probably already started. Well, let's go take a look. Pray tell. Okay. Any loot around here? And you swear by the light that your words are the truth. I swear. So be it. Do you have anything to say in your defense, Elf? Silence will not change anything. I hope you realize that. Game. What do you want me to say? <laughs> that I used my magic to kill those soldiers? Yes, I did. And I would do it again. Because they tried to kill me. She's lying for heck's sake! That bloody witch is lying! You know what? You're right. I killed these men just because I liked it. Then I cooked a potion from their entrails and finally found myself a nice little broom to fly off into the moonlight. Do you think this is the time for jesting? I don't. But for the past hour, I have done nothing but repeat the same story over and over again. For which you have no evidence. Yes, and neither do you. But you know, that's the great thing about religious idiots like you. You always pick the story you like most. Now go ahead. Get that pretty little mask on my face already. I'm sure Aeonir would enjoy that as much as seeing elven mages raped by Leoniders soldiers. Heresy. This is heresy. Area of Finanmir. 
You are hereby found guilty of breaking the new laws by using magic to slay three soldiers of the royal army. The punishment will be death by the pike and shall be carried out by the morrow. The trial is over. Jeez, I'd rather she didn't die. I wonder if we'll have an option to save her. Hmm, that's tough. What do you make of this? I don't know. She might be speaking the truth, or she might be lying. But it's two witnesses against her word, so I guess the sentence was only fair. I don't know about that. You can normally tell when someone is being honest. Like, nine times out of ten, you know? Ninety-nine times out of a hundred, at least that's how I feel about it. Um, it's something about... I guess, like, the tone... And the way that they're speaking, Who's that woman? perhaps? The older one. I don't you know. don't know? Alright, now that surprises me. That was Amaria Leoniter, the only surviving member of House Leoniter. All of her sons died in the final battle of the Nortander army against your father's rebels. Hmm. She seemed to be very upset by what the elf said about Aelir. Yeah, no wonder. She's one of the most fervent followers of the purity. Probably also one of the reasons why they could get so much influence within the crown. House Leonider was one of the greatest armies in Nortander. But let's go, shall we? I wouldn't want to keep the Lord Marshal waiting any longer. Damn. This game is, like, heavy, man. These various, um... Elements and whatnot that's going on. Like, she talked about soldiers raping the elves, man. Like, that's... Like, that's some heavy stuff. That shit happens in war, or at least it has. Oh, the AI Pathfinding found it, though. Oh, another Iron Mask book. Alright, well, that's a bit. Yes? Who? Wait. You are Corporal Tahar, aren't you? The betrayer's child. <laughs> the betrayer's child. Some call me that. That's actually what I would rather say, but it is true he has a name. Some call me that. Hmm. I've heard things about you. In any case, is there something you need? I have business to attend to. Who are you? I haven't seen you in Greykeep before. That is very possible, since I've only just arrived. I'm Caspar Tellis, servant of the Light and Lord Angar's appointed judge to trial all these who refuse to abide by the new laws. So the purity is creating the laws now? No. We only aid Lord Angar in enforcing them. <clears throat> what did this woman do? She killed three soldiers of the Nortander army. Though I am not certain how this concerns you. I mean, off. I asked it because it gave me the option and to find that it gave a response that makes sense, like it didn't concern my character and he kind of just witnessed it. I appreciate that. This game like lets you do things that you don't need to do. Or you aren't like rewarded for doing in any way. It's the kind of like... child. So they still haven't thrown you into a dungeon, have they? Uh Yes, play the silent brooding soldier. I'll make sure you see the light one day, Tahar. Trust me, I will. I mean, you can talk to her. I like, what's your problem? And she's like, oh, your dad, you know, killed my blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you're not going to win, I don't think. Like, and my character doesn't seem to have, you know, too much charisma or persuasion skill. Um... So I'm just gonna move onward. You don't really have much to say to someone like that. Like, they kind of already decided that you know you're the bad guy, you're the villain. Yes. Um. 
And I don't mean to imply you shouldn't try to communicate with them, but this is a video game with pre-selected dialogue options, so I don't have necessarily the opportunity to say more. Of course. Um, and I'm assuming they're not going to get it. All right, let's continue on with the, the main keep, quest. Like a lithic giant challenging the sky, stands the Grey Tower. Though not the highest of towers, it is no doubt the most important, as it houses both the Hall of War and the Hall of Justice. Here we are. Now let's find the Lord Marshal and the General. Yeah, they're probably in the Hall of War. You know, Tahar, there's something I've been wondering about lately. What? All of this, the army, the wolf guard, the crown, does it fulfill you? What do you mean? I... that... it just... never mind. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. So, is he concerned about my intentions? Tahar, that's the cellar, not the war room. You know that, right? Or is I was he... just wondering why it looks as if it hasn't been open for years. Isn't that where they store some provisions in case of a siege? Good question. You'll have to ask the quartermaster about that. Um, I wonder if he's asking because he's having doubts as to whether or not he wants to continue serving, or if he's concerned about, you know, me and me, like, betraying or something. He seems to be a good friend, though, so probably not that. Quest item. Okay. All right. Jolly piece of writing. Cool. Let me just note vision. Throughout my travels, I have met many a scholar of magic. Some claim that it, that is it, the mages. Some claim that is it, the mages' indomitable will. That seems to be an error. I, that doesn't make sense to me. Some claim that it is the mage's indomitable will that determines his magical abilities, while others believe it to be physical prowess, and others still the power of thought. It is true that magic draws on the entirety of a person, body, mind, spirit, all are vital to a mage's ability. Yet, without vision, a mage may attain only a fragment of real mastery. For it is vision and ambition that drive all else. What motivates the development of the body, the mind, and the spirit? A vision of purpose, as tangible as the weave of magic between a mage's fingers. One lacking such vision can never be more than merely proficient. So in all magical pursuits, first find your vision. Focus on what must be achieved and all else will follow. Let your ambition drive you and success will be yours. Free hail, adventurer, and scholar. I love this, and I think this actually applies to real life. <laughs> Straight up. Like, what is the point of developing these things without your vision or your goal, right? Like, without that, what are you even doing anything? You give your own life meaning. Hmm. The Great Noble Houses, the sung by the greatest bard. Imagine, if you will, five noble houses. Um, five guests at a grand banquet called Kiara. Allow me to introduce you to House Leonadar. Can't even pronounce that well. Our party host, a woman wealthy and well-endowed, well-endowed, what does he mean by that? <laughs> uh, to whom all must honor. Her home is Greyfell, capital of all Northander. Keeps a map of the family tree, denoting every hierarchy of her large house in her back pocket. Very unpopular with the, ser well, with the servants, insist upon following a myriad, myriad of protocols set forth by her ancestors. So that's um, the lady who does not like me, right? And wants me in a dungeon cell. House Iskander, uh, the smiling thief at the banquet table. Even as he laughs at our host's jokes, he's pocketing the silverware. Hails from Everlight, strikes a deal with the traitor Isamo Tahar behind House Leonardo, uh, Leonidar's back. After the mage wars, his noted absence throws his lands into chaos. Interesting. House Wolfgar, uh, a harsh, rugged man who looks out of place at the banquet, leaves his war club on the table, cannot wait for the frivolity to end so he can return to his home in the northwest. If the other guests speak to him, it is only out of necessity. Okay. House Hallett, adorned from head to toe in moon silver steel owing to her strong trade relations with the dwarves, a charming woman, 
um, too charming. Does an excellent job of convincing the uninformed of the great size of her lands near the Wind Wall Mountains. And then House Utran, the most dashing man at the banquet, his gaze is intense and fierce. His chiseled jaw is grisly with stubble, may have caused several ladies in waiting to faint as he entered the room, avoids the attention and more tender politics like a fox running from a hunt. As told by Parthon, the greatest bard. Hmm. That's interesting. I know. Yeah, I feel like these are the people, so we probably will meet them in our journey. I assume. Orders? What? Can you not see I am busy? Did the Lord Marshal send you? No, he didn't. Then move along, will you? I'm working with dangerous substances. Come on, Tahar. Let's leave him be. Hmm. Understood. Alright, I guess he's busy. I'm just, you know, exploring the what are you heat. Doing? These are General Noria's quarters. <laughs> are they really? Not grand. The hard don't tell. <laughs> so this is the general. Let's see. Hmm. It's got like a bookshelf over there. On a table. That's his bed. Jeez, this room is very open. The rug is all folded over. Like, how'd that happen? What's going on in this place? He doesn't have a desk? In his quarters? Like, there's no table and chair. Like, he's got all these tables, but no chairs. There's a chair over here. There's no fire pit or anything. I'll be honest, his quarters... They're kind of whatever. Kind of whatever. Let's check out this place. Mm -hmm. Okay, doesn't say whose uh, quarters those are. <laughs> All right. After like an hour All right, of having this main quest, ready to go in. You sound yeah, nervous. He is. Nervous? <laughs> uh, no. I just... never mind. Come on, let's go in. Interesting. Alright, going to the Hall of War. Did I cancel that? I did. Whoops. The Hall of War is not only where most of Nortander politics are conducted, but also where emissaries and diplomats from other empires are first perceived when visiting Grey Cape. It is easy to understand the reason. Once one has walked on the marble floors, through the gilded arches, and beneath the eyes of the many statues that adorn its giant halls. There's a table with a chair. Hmm. Jeez. This place is pretty awesome looking. I seem dismissed. But all we need is more time. The cure is within reach and we... You've had your time. What did you achieve? Nothing. People are dying as we speak. And we do not stop this plague right now. It'll wipe out all of Greyfell next. Once you've found a key, fine. We will use it. But for now, this is the only way. I... understand, Lord Marshal. Forgive me for my failure. Dismissed. Tahar, get over here. We don't have all day. Hmm. Looks like that guy really didn't have time to speak with us. What's next? Hmm. Huh. Lord Marshal, General Noria, you wanted to see us? We did. Sentenza? Yes. What do you know about the Bloodburn? I'm not sure what you mean, sir. So, our commitment to secrecy worked for a change. That's refreshing. The Bloodbird is a plague. The first time we heard about it was about three months ago. For almost a moon's turn now, every capable alchemist of Greyfell and Everlight has been searching for a cure. And there are rumors that the elves, the dwarves, and even the greenskins are affected by it as well. Problem is, we are nowhere near a solution. And recently, there has been a massive outbreak at a village near Greyfell, Leonon. Hmm. hmm. 
And am I right to assume that this bloodbird is lethal? Absolutely. It's by far the most dangerous plague Eo has seen since the Red Fever. It corrupts a person's blood, hence the name. It starts with a light fever and some nausea. Within a week, people will bleed from their mouths and their eyes. We don't know what causes it, and so far, no medicine has shown it help. Once the first symptoms show, it goes quickly. The blood forms blisters, which eventually burst open, and by then, the fever already causes an excruciating pain. After that, it's over quickly. Within the next few days, the victim will bleed out like a slaughtered pig. Tiara's breath. Indeed. Jeez. It's pretty harsh. Any idea what causes it? How does it spread? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. Some things seem to suggest that it's contagious, whereas some alchemists believe the infections occur at random. At random? Well, not entirely. Apparently, there's a pattern. But it seems almost too ridiculous to say it. The infected we've talked to, many of them have reported hearing, I don't know how to put it, noises around where the infection must have taken place. Noises? Yes. Some of them even said it sounded like a voice. <laughs> Superstitious nonsense, of course. But it might suggest that it's more than a mere disease, which is troubling. A curse. That is what you're suggesting, isn't it? A curse? No. If anything, I think it might be some kind of magical anomaly. However, we are not here to muse about the causes of the plague. We have scholars set on that. You're here because the Wolf Guard will set out on a mission. Sent as a... We have to find a way to contain the outbreak in that village, Leonon. If the infections reach Greyfell, we will be faced with a catastrophe that will make the Mage Wars look like a pleasant dream. Thus, we, together with a small division of Nortander soldiers, will travel to Leonon and assess the situation and see what we can do. Hmm. I gotta use the restroom real quick. What's my That's role my in this? What kind of question is that? You're a member of the Wolf Guard, and this is a royal mission. End of story. I understand. But if there's no cure, how can we contain it? We'll see when we get there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> if the blood burn is deadly, how do we protect ourselves when we get into the contaminated territory? Again, we haven't understood the blood burn's distribution pattern yet. So there's a chance it'll not affect you anyway. But to make sure, our alchemists have prepared a concoction that's supposed to protect against the infection. I mean... Understood. When do we set out? Let's Tomorrow at first light. Just get your things and your potion from the alchemist downstairs. His name is Albertus de Reims. Then meet me at the gate when you're ready. Anything else, Lord Marshal Arendir? No. Just... solve the problem. We will. <laughs> All right, it looks like I can continue to talk to them. However, I feel like they're like, why are you still talking now to what? us? You've been briefed. <laughs> Let's see. What is it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dude, this game is great. They let you do things. And then they're like, why'd you do that? <laughs> it makes the game actually feel a bit more alive and realistic and immersive, honestly. Try and talk to the king again? Why are you trying to talk to me? <laughs> Gosh. That's pretty great. Yes. Got it. What 
Dreams. Are you a Birds to Dreams? Depends on who's asking. Corporal Carpal and Corporal Tahar, Wolfgar. We were told you can give us a medicine that can protect against the blood burn. Oh, so that's you. Yes, here are your potions. Drink two sips of it two hours before entering the contaminated cell. It lasts for about seven hours. And it works? Of course it works. Just make sure to never go over my suggested dose, otherwise it can be lethal. Now, is there anything else? If not, I've got business to attend to. No, that was all. Thank you. All right, onward we go. Mm. Understood. Drink the resistance potion with Tahar and the other guy. Do I drink it now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how far we are from... Mm -hmm. Wouldn't let me go in here, would it? Uh, Tahar, that's the okay. cellar, not the war room. You know that, right? I was just wondering why it looks as if it hasn't been open for years. Isn't that where they store some provisions mm -hmm. in case of a siege? Well, good question. You'll have to ask the quartermaster about that. Maybe I do have to drink it then. Uh... That's actually really interesting how they had one potion for each character hmm. and one character could only drink their potion. That, that is very interesting. I've not seen that really in a game before. Now hmm. would you look at that? Normally you just have multiple potions and you just give them each. Hmm. All right. Meet the Sentenza outside of Drakey. Yes, that's it. Now again, remember, eyes locked onto your. All right. Well, I've already kind of explored everywhere. I don't actually know. Oh, it must be over here. Acknowledged. Yeah, this must be the way outside. Yes. Bum 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 bum. Oh, it's that statue, the big bearded guy, Understood. right? So I've actually been in this area before. What I don't know though is how do I get over there? Uh oh, I gotta go way over here. I didn't even know oh maybe this gate was actually closed before. Because I feel like I came over here to search for stuff. Oh, I have to say, getting this little amulet, this hasten amulet, very nice. Very, very nice. Otherwise, it would have taken much, much longer to run from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. We'll do. An amazing key, man. Look at all the detail that they put into this. Like, this really feels like a city to me, at least. I mean, these statues are a bit unique. You got these ones standing on these little pedestal stone things, like these squares, and these guys aren't. That's a bit strange, actually. Hmm. Overall, very, very cool looking city. Is that a little mini one? Right below the big one? Okay. That's interesting. Oh, and you got more. You got more stone people. Well, um, these humans are quite interesting. We have a lot a lot, a lot of statues of people on this castle, actually. Wow. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep going. Not seeing any loot. Yep, loot. 
thought there might be some around. Scroll of the Berserker. It reminds me, I did pick up a book. I wanted to read it real quick. The Battle of Stone Bay. When one thinks of Nortander's military, one often thinks of the might of her armies rather than her naval forces. It is, after all, the armies of the major houses that figure most frequently in the annals of war. Yet, um, one of the most important battles in Nortander's long history was fought not on land but at sea, the Battle of Stone Bay. The Empyreans had long coveted Nortander as a land of opportunity and conquest. Even as their emperor made overtures of peace to the royal court in Greyfall, they planned for invasion, knowing that the Nortander forces could assemble faster than they could cross the sea to Fiara. Uh, the Empyreans relied upon secrecy and deceit to keep their motives hidden. On an early summer morning, scouts spotted an armada of ships on the horizon near Stone Bay. Admiral Albertus de Bassai. Uh, commander of the naval forces in the area, mastered the, or mustered the ships scattered around the bay. He knew that if the appearance of warships were a surprise, help was not coming. Only their few dozen ships stood between the Imperia and the conquests of their homeland. Nortander navy was outnumbered and ill-prepared for an attack. The bay was filled with smoke as ships burned and drowned. Still, the Admiral knew the bay better than the invaders and used this knowledge to direct the remaining ships to follow his mast. As the wind changed direction, as was common in that region, the Nortander ships outmaneuvered the Empyreans. Admiral de, Admiral de Basai directed his ship, the Juggernaut, straight into the enemy's flagship. As two ships collided, Nortander troops boarded and seized the ship. With the Empyrean Admiral captured, the battle was over. Not a single Empyrean soldier had set foot on Nortander soil. That's badass. That is badass. Okay, I believe over here... Um, there was a ship that we saw, uh, where was that ship? Down here, perhaps? Basically commemorating, right there, that's the ship, commemorating that guy's victory. So this, that's badass, that's pretty cool. That is an admiral worth, uh, remembering for sure. So this is the main gate. I guess you only really have people going in and out too often. Let's see. There you are. Ready? Hmm. He's asking me if I'm ready. It makes me want to look around the map real quick. Double check we're not missing any of the cool loots. Hmm. All right. Yes. We are good. Then let's go get the others. We have a long journey ahead of us. <laughs> Wide swathes of green, fertile soil, lakes and rivers rich in fish. The people of Nina, a small village in the meadowlands of Leonida, have long lived a peaceful life. Now the tides have turned. According to word of mouth, the village has been struck by the blood burn. It is your mission to ascertain these rumors' veracity and act accordingly. Leo Nidar. Meadowlands of Leo Nidar. So, something that's interesting, a bit of foreshadowing perhaps. Um, we're about to go to the lands of Leo Nidar, where they have this blood plague. And I believe the last remaining survivor of House Leonidar is that lady who did not like us. So we're about to like go to her like one of her villages or one of the villages in her domain and potentially, I mean, hopefully we can help the citizens. I don't know. I just think of like Warcraft 3, like Arthas, you know, killing the citizens to stop the spread of the plague. And I'm just like, yeah. You know, it's not gonna turn out. All I'm out saying well. is that I just don't understand why people always act that way. I mean, I... Quiet. We're here. This is Lionel? Huh. Looks pretty serene. Still. What about our troops? Should we wait for them to catch up? No. Our first task is to assess the situation anyway. How bad is it and how many are infected? Once we have a clearer picture, we'll act accordingly. Meaning? We'll see. 
Cool. Swift Saber. Not crit chance and block chance. Deal strike and fierce damage. Increased attack speed. It requires strength and dex. That's cool. It's much better than that axe. Got a mighty great axe, a swift composite bow, a guarding flamberg, robust warhammer. Wow! Look at the damage on that compared to this. It does way more damage. Oh my gosh. And the attacks per second is just a little bit less. I mean, this attacks, let me see, 7 divided by 38. Uh, it's like 5-ish, roughly. So it's about 20% faster, though. Hmm. They have a halberd. They have spears. Dude, you can go spear and shield. That's cool. I mean, my guy can still go... No, because I put a lot into strength. Nah, we're, we're sticking with that. We'll take the saber. What is this? Why... Restore all mappings for this hero? Hmm. I don't know what that was. I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Hmm. hmm. Alright. Let's equip my saber. Way off. And y'all. Let's see. Something I am actually kind of curious about. Let's see. That's 94 to 99. Which is less than it said it would be. Huh. Maybe because I'm not dual wielding. So 94 to 99. 130 to 138. 128 to 135. It is. So your main hand weapon does matter. Okay, and then your second weapon is actually going to do reduced damage. Gotcha. Different games, the dual wielding tends to impact your damage a bit differently. Like, maybe that just goes without saying, but I just want to see how this one's work. So, like, if you only have one weapon, it's actually 94 to 99. Like, this, as a single hand, would actually do more damage. Wait, so if I put this mace here... Wait, I'm 135, 142... 146 to 152? Holy crap, man. There's no way. Like, look at that. Looks jank as hell. Nah. We're going with this. Man, but this is higher damage, isn't it? But not by much. Let me see, attacks per second, 0 0.37. 0 0.38? I'm actually faster? That applies weakened, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this. I think I'm overthinking that. Yes. Alright, let's go to abilities. No attribute points. Anselm, the guy who wants to be a tank, but isn't very good at it. Dude, I don't know if this guy's gonna be with me for that long. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for the sword and board style. Let's see. Um, call to arms. Apply armor to yourself. Gives you bonus for 15 seconds. Yeah, man. Let's give you that. You could definitely use that. And then since Sentenza. I like that name, Sentenza. That's not a name I've heard much of. And you, oh, you have leadership. What? Mm -hmm. I never huh? noticed that. Did they change that? I could have swore he yes. had the black magic last yes. time. Hmm. I 
think he dual wields, right? Yes, he does. So we'll increase your dual wield damage. Boom. Cool. So, I mean, my guy was trained... Cal was trained by this guy, Sentenza. So, uh... Great you know. Time. We're gonna say he follows in his footsteps. Gosh, there is so much to Stay explore. Right. Huh. You know, actually, I think this is a good starting point for, um, next time. So I'm gonna end things here. Um, it says I have one viewer. If that's true, thank you, uh, for watching. I hope this was entertaining for you. Uh, if that's actually not even accurate, well then, I've been talking to myself for a while. Nonetheless, um, I will be back on maybe later today, if not, definitely tomorrow. Um, let's do a save. I don't really care to rename the file, so we'll just go with that. And yeah, gonna end it there. Alright, well, farewell. Hope you have a nice rest of your day. I just need a break for a bit. Alright, bye.